back. Just like that, we're back. Did Just we like in the house? There we oh, go. Geez. Kiefer, say something. Yo, can you hear me? Yes, we hear you good. Dennis and Goose, we hear you good. Jessica awesome. Malagros, I know she said she was going to come right after work. I don't know if that's like five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. I don't know what it is. We could start without her, uh, and then we can kind of add her in. Okay, if you guys, I know it's this could take a little while. I don't know how much energy you have. I don't know how much time you have. Uh, I, this is that just is a, good to see when we have lots of energy. Good. We're ready to rock and roll. Good. Kiefer falls asleep at like 9 30. <laughs> Yeah, we're getting close. We're getting close <laughs> to bedtime. All right. All right. So uh, what I'm thinking I could do is I can share the video because I do have special videos. I have, like, really good quality videos. I have, like, the media videos. So we're going to play each person. They could be, like, four or five minutes long. It's all of them. It's not just little, like, cut-up pieces. They're cut up, but it's all together, okay? And then uh, and then what we can do is we can break it down, and then we'll just talk about it, and uh, and, and we'll see what uh, what you guys think. But before we get into all that stuff, I want to I want to ask you guys how are you feeling? Like how do you guys how are you guys doing after season twelve? Before we get into all that stuff, how are you guys doing, man? I mean, I'm coping. <laughs> that seems to be the question we ask everyone whenever we see each other. Uh, how we're doing, especially now that season twelve potentially is the last one. For a bit, it will come back though. But for a bit, uh, does that mean it ain't enough on a good note or a bad note? Right. I don't think. I, to be honest with you, I don't think it's like if if it was the last season. I don't think it's like your guys' fault. I think it was. It's been going like this for a while. I feel oh. like the ratings, the, the the money, and all that stuff's been doing that. Like it's nothing. It's not like you guys went in. You know, and it, it ends because of that. So, like, if you guys are thinking, like, oh, you guys had something to do with it, I, I don't think so. I think it's been a thing going on for a while, okay? So, keep, keep your heads up a little bit. They're like, fuck, man, we dropped the ball. Anyway, all right, so uh, I do have the videos. I'm sure, I'm, sure the same, I'm sure the same thing happens with all of uh, BB alumni. Whenever there is a new iteration of a season, things are triggered, and then you go oh, yeah. back through memory lane, like, oh, yeah, they're going to be going in the house. They're going to be feeling this. I remember feeling this type of way. 100 100 the one thing you guys aren't gonna get to, the one thing you're not gonna get to experience which i think is probably good i don't know what do you think Kiefer? it's like the next season that comes in it's like yo that's my bed you know they're sleeping in my bed that's my kitchen that's where i used to make this that's right you know what i mean so at least you don't have to deal with that yes i do want to say Kiefer, hello uh it's insane i'm fanboying right now <laughs> <laughs> i know i'm a yeah, long night but what? it's so nice to see you yeah, what's up, Vince? What's up? Because I didn't catch finale this year. It sucked, but uh, maybe next year. Who knows? Just like watch stream. You guys, everybody in the chat, you wow. guys see that okay? Oh, my God. You guys see that okay? Yep. Oh, my God. All right. We did it. We did it. All right. So this is, oh, my God. I didn't even see her name, and I can't see her name now. Well, she's probably going to say it, but this is, uh, who is this? Who is this? All right. <laughs> This is person number one. So we're going to watch it. Uh, and like I said, these are the media files. And uh, oh, is the chat covering it up? Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. How do I? Uh, give me one sec. The chat. What's the chat covering? Anything or nothing? Here, let's put the chat here. So it's if anything. Now let's cover Kiefer's face. Let's cover Kiefer's face. This is okay, buddy. It's okay, buddy. <laughs> That's Chelsea Baham. Here. here. Right there. Is that a good spot in between me and Kiefer for the chat? Now, when I have these streams up, I lag a bit, don't I? In my in in I lag a bit, right? That's okay. Um, hmm, okay, I lag a bit, but that's okay. Don't worry about that. It's just me. Uh, it's you guys that I care about. Okay, so there, the chat's in the middle. We're good. All right, we're gonna play it. This is uh, what's her name? Chelsea. Chelsea Baham. All right, let's do it. Okay, so that is. Chelsea, oh my God, that was a lot taken. That was a, that was you know it's a full video. So this is what we have, guys. We have the media, actual media videos right here. So they're gonna be the full five minutes or whatever it is. So we could do it. We can watch them all like we did. We can pause, take breaks, whatever you want. Uh, that was our first one. So that is Chelsea. Uh, I'm gonna start with our new fantastic guests here. We got Goose and Dennis. Uh, which one do you guys want to go first? What do you think of her? Thoughts on her goes far. What did you like with what she said? What are your thoughts? Um. Do you have the bio up? I just want to know how old she is. That's one thing I want to ask too. How much? 27. She's 27. She's 27? Okay, 27. Well, uh, yeah, honestly, we're off to a great start. I love that she's a big fan. You can tell she's a student of the game. The thing she's saying, it's like she's read the textbook. She's going to put into practice. 
Uh, I've got high hopes for her. She sounds like she'll be a very interesting player to watch. What I am worried, though, is if she doesn't manage her threat level well, if all these things we're seeing that, like, that I'm loving, but, like, it's it makes you competition, right? If other people pick up too much on it, sure, they might say, oh, she knows the game really well. Uh, we should work with her. But they might be like, oh, she's a big threat. And uh, I really love that she's, like, literally mentioning she wants to win. She's going to be self-interested. And that's what you want to see from a player. You don't want to see people who go in and then they end up, like, playing someone else's game mm -hmm. or they put the alliance too ahead of them. So, uh, honestly, I feel like uh, we're off to a great start with her. Beautiful. Dennis. Yeah, just to back off of Elijah, uh, she's read, you know, she's read the book. She's saying everything that you're supposed to be saying. And I think that's the problem where she's saying, I'm going to win these competitions. Actually, <laughs> from what I've learned in my experience, <laughs> sometimes you don't want to win those competitions. You need to know when to win those competitions. And like Elijah said, you want that threat level to be low. So to go in and say, yeah, I'm going to be socially inept, oh, inept, no, socially adept and win competitions, no, you're already putting a mark on you. You don't want to do that. And she said, my face will, if I'm not saying something, my face will say it. And that's a problem. You don't want your face to be red. You need to hold on to your card so close to your chest. And thinking that it's going to be all newbies, I believe it's all newbies, there's no twist where there's going to be people coming back, returnees. So you can go in and play the type of game that something like Elijah and I couldn't do because we had returnees coming in. It's a blank slate. So she can go in. If she's really a good competitor, go in, win that HOH, set the tone of the season. That's what I think she should do. She can't, if she's full force, she can't take her foot off the gas. She has to stay with it the entire game. I like how you brought that up with your season with the, with the returnees. Um, I, I do believe that that completely changed the traje trajectory of your season. It would have been a completely different season if they weren't there. I always say in this chat, I always say it in my stream, anytime there's a returning player, you get them out right away, immediately. You don't let them cook. You don't let them build. You get them out right away. Unless it's me, let me build. Anybody else, get them out. If it's key, especially if it's Kiefer, just get them out. Get my eyes out. I need to go yeah. home. Yeah. <laughs> hey, isn't there a 17 there, and that's the thing. There's there a 17, 17, yes. There's a 17,000 guest. Yes, Apparently, now we don't know what's going to happen. Apparently, they're going to either Bam. vote a 17th in or something like that, right? I don't know. Something like that. All right, Kiefer, what's your thought on, I forget her name, Chelsea? Chelsea. Yeah. All right, Kiefer, let's hear it. Okay. This is my winner pick. Clip a shot. Oh, um, no. Not again. This guy, he picked. Because. because <laughs> Has he been from right before? Town. Uh, I've been actually, you know, it's funny. The past three Big Brother USs, I have picked the winner. Correctly. Have you really, Keeper? I have. I have. Really? And I'll pull up the fucking facts, Bruno. I'll Let's go through the, the facts, facts Keeper. I, I picked Taylor Hale to win the game before it even started. Oh. I picked Xavier, and I also I picked Jag to win as well, and Who's Jag won. Jed? So that's three. That's three for th Jag. Oh, Jag. Oh, okay. Jed. Okay. okay, buddy. Jed was on your uh, no, season. I really like her because... No, Jag. Okay, Jag. Okay. Are okay, you saying Jag just... or Jed? Jag. <laughs> with a G. Golf. It's a J. No, uh, she's from Rancho. What do you do with a G? <laughs> Next question. Um, she's from Rancho Cucamongo. Cool name. I just love that. That's all I got to say about Chels. Cool name. Um, Rancho Cucamongo, dude. That's freaking sick. That's all I got. Yeah, I don't know. She's like you guys said it all. She's she's saying everything that needs to be said. Uh, I like that she wants to be in an alliance. I think finding yourself in the majority alliance uh, for me was very important, and I think for a lot of people it needs to be important. Uh, unless you can grift your way through the game and build a resume. Actually, resumes don't even fucking mean shit these days so as long as you can get to the end of the game cool oh. i like your takes i like all your takes i, I here's the thing here the thing with me <laughs> the thing with me man is i gotta be honest man like i like her i like her okay i just where does she fit into the cast she says all the right things is it just she's saying the right things because it's what to say like you know how it is when you go in this in the show 
I always say this all the time. These these players right now, they have no idea what they're in for. They're right now they're sitting in the in the in, in sequester and they're getting media and they're getting interviewed. They say, Oh, I'm gonna go in and week one, I'm gonna do this and this and this and this. And then you get in there and now you're face to face with all your opponents and you're like, wait a minute, I can't do this, 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 and this. Because I just I can't. These people are better than me, they're smarter than me, they're friendlier than me, they're more social than me, they're better than me, they're faster than me. And you can't do what you want to do. Or maybe it's not even that. It's just the things you want to do, the people you're working with just don't allow it. They're they don't see it, or the, you know, they're scared to do something, whatever it is. So I think on paper she says the right things. Where does she fit in? Can she pull off what she's saying she's gonna do? That's my thing. I think the only thing she was she said everything right. The alliances, the company. She didn't say one word that I like to hear. She is adapt. She is not going to adapt. She is just going to do what she's going to do. She already has the site. We all know we came in with a vision. That changes as soon as you get into the house. As soon as you get into the house. 100%. She's not saying that. 100%. So that's Chelsea, guys. Uh, I, I like Chelsea. I do like Chelsea, uh, but I don't know where she fits in. It's hard, to, and that's only our first one we've seen. Again, guys, we're going in blind. I do know what everyone looks like, and I've heard a ten-second clip from them. So, like, I have a little bit, but I don't know them. So, it'll be easier once we see everything, and then we can kind of be like, "All right, here we go." Oh, Jessica, Jessica Malagros is here. Jessica, are you ready to yo, jump yo, yo, yo. in? Hold up! Did Chelsea get kicked from the show already? I feel like I've seen something that Chelsea's <laughs> dropped out of the okay. show. Kiefer, I swear. Uh, Ke we're just no, gonna I mute. Swear. We're gonna mute Kiefer. I swear. We're yeah. gonna just mute you. <laughs> no, I'm serious. You saw oh, that okay, too. No. What do you mean you saw that too? What do you mean you saw that too? What do you mean she got kicked? The what? What is going on? What do you mean she got kicked? Out I think of she show? dropped out of this. She dropped out. Your winner pick is oh, gone no. already, Kiefer. So she's back in Rancho Cucamonga. Okay, um, what is going on, man? Well, we what? well officially we Jess wasn't here, so we didn't start anyways. <laughs> Jess, where are you? What do you mean? She I, got I, it could have been. It could have just been like a false tweet or something. But I remember seeing something on Twitter, and like, yo, Chelsea's gone. Yeah, I'm not saying. Well, that. rip Chelsea. Ready? All right, so Jess, are you ready to jump yeah, in? Yeah, I didn't think of that right away. Yo, Jess, get in here, save me. Yeah. We did it. Hey. Je there she is. What's going on? Yeah, let's put the chat right there. That's actually I'm perfect. Jess. Perfect. Okay, Jess. Jess, welcome in, Jess. Hey, Hello. Guys. Say hi to everybody. What's up, everybody? Uh, this, wait, where, oh, so on my screen, I don't know where I am on your screen, but right above me is Keeper, Goose. I miss you, brother. Okay, don't worry, Jess. I'm I just know, trying I miss to. You too. It's been so long. No big deal. I'll just. I'm just gonna just mind my business. All right, you guys, Jess. You <laughs> Jess. This is Goose. This is uh, my screen. Goose is here and Dennis is here. So Dennis, Goose, you know, Keith, we've done this last year and the year before many times. And the lovely Jess, uh, she's amazing. We love Jess very, very much. I couldn't get on. I was just, I, I, I watched the whole thing. So I was listening. Oh, okay. And okay. I don't believe Kiefer. So Jess <laughs> is the mean one of the group. Just be a heads up, everybody. She's the one. She's yeah. the mean one. <laughs> Which is really weird because... Bruno is one of the meanest people I know, so <laughs> no, it's kind of odd. I am so nice. Okay, Jess, thank I'm you. I'm only mean to him. Yes. Okay, so we're ah. moving, we're going to do this one here. So we got – that was Chelsea – uh kind of mixed emotions on her i guess i just let's just do a quick recap here like um I, I, she's saying the right things can she pull it off i don't paper. know she's good on paper yeah. right. good on paper Definitely that's a paper. good way to put it man that was uh yo who do, do you want me to take some i'll take this one i'll take this first i gotta tell you man it's something mean. <laughs> i really like this kid i like him i love him <laughs> i'm surprised because i'm gonna say okay. something man Usually this kind of character, I'm like, okay, so he's just a young kid. He's a little punk kid. He's in there. He's going to just have fun. But I think he has it, man. I feel like he's got the vibe. I, he's a little cocky, a little arrogant, a little bit, you know. But I like him. I think he's very social. He understands. He talks about adapting. You can't go in with these ideas. I say it all the time. You cannot go into Big Brother like – Week one, I'm going to do this. Week two, I'm going to do this. Week three, I'm going to do this. Week four. And you can't have this formula that's going to get you to the end because you're not even in the door yet. How do you even have How do you even have a, a week one formula and a week one plan when you don't even know who's in the house with you? I think he has the social game. I think he's likable. The thing is, will people connect with it? And he says it too. A lot of times people think he's really arrogant at first, and then they they like him. And then when they like him, they really like him. And, and, and I agree with that. I agree with that. 
it, it's one of those things where it's like once you get past, once you understand how he works and how he thinks, you're like, okay, he's not an arrogant kid. He's confident, but he's a good, he's a good guy, and I, I want to work with this guy. I like him, but you got to get over that wall first. And at first, it's always like, oh, look at that little arrogant kid. If he can stay long enough from people saying, oh, look at that arrogant guy, to like, oh, I like that guy, to oh, I want to work with that guy. Oh, actually, I really trust that guy. I think he's gonna do really well. Um, I just, I, he seems very aware. He does. He seems like he understands, and he's saying the right things normally man i'd be like yo this kid's just he's he's eric you know but for some reason i don't know what's in this tea man i don't know what's in this coffee but i love this guy i didn't expect that i saw a 10 second clip of him earlier today and i was like oh my god this guy like get him out of here like literally i was like get him out of here now i watch this whatever four or five minute whatever the hell it is and i'm just like okay this i like this guy like i would i could see he's like he's a stud he's got like this beautiful smile beautiful hair beautiful like skin look he's got it all man and he's smart and he's a good talker i think he has you could tell he's like a social guy I think he has the tools to do well. Will it connect with the other players in the house? I don't know. What do you? Uh, who's taking it next? Who wants it? Let's go with. The, let's go with our new friends. I'm gonna go to Jess on my screen. It's like it goes Goose, Dennis, Jess, Keith, me. So I'm, we'll do a little circle. So we'll start with Goose right here. Uh yeah. Honestly, uh, you can tell this guy's very charismatic. I'd be shocked if he's the first one out. Mm -hmm. I think he seems to have a good understanding of what he's in for. Uh. The only thing I'll say is for some reason, I have a feeling that he might be lacking in regards to killer instinct. I don't know. That's mm. just my gut instinct. But I think he definitely has a lot of potential. The one thing I really liked uh, what he said was the trust thing. You know, uh, I can't remember how he said it, but whatever he said about trust and if you just trust, you make the distance. I really like that. And, and oh, another thing I want to say, apparently this guy was a Marine. He's a discharged Marine. Now, I can go two different ways on that. He's 21 and he's been a discharged Marine. I think that's the right word or what it was, right? Is that for a good thing or a bad thing? Was it because he did something or is it because like he did something maybe like he got injured? I, I don't know. But at 21 and he's already – is it a discharge? I don't know what the, what the right wording was for it, but uh, he's basically – he's not in it anymore because of whatever reason. So Former. Is it, is just former? Okay, former Marine. Why is he not anymore? Maybe I thought it was a discharge or something. Maybe not. Maybe I'm misreading. Okay. Uh, Dennis, what are your thoughts? Um. We can't dispute his energy. Uh, for being a 21-year-old, it's going to be all about energy. Uh, I, I will bring a little bit of ageism here. Um, yeah, let's hear it. Usually someone who's younger will be more uh, subjective uh, and not uh, an objective thinker. They will only see what's in front of them, and it will be instant gratification for these people. Uh, who are younger, in my experience. So uh, they won't see a long-term plan. It'll be what's in front of them. How can I get beyond this day? Uh, the thing I I like is energy. My only problem is, and we all know this from experience, this is him talking to a camera mm -hmm. and you're showing all that energy. Mm -hmm. I don't know how that translates. He, I feel, is the type of person that will actually quiet up when there's a bunch of people around and he works more one-on-one. -on -one. So when you said... Uh, this, uh, be careful the first week. This is someone that will build. You can grow to like, I agree with that. He has to learn to maybe just tone it down for the first two weeks. Cause all you're doing in the first two weeks is just finding that little thing to kick someone out. And I think his energy might be that excuse mm -hmm. after that first two weeks, he'll grow on people. They'll realize they can depend on him. Cause I think he will be very trustworthy. Yeah, that's that's another thing I want to say too. It, it, it depends. Cause I know you can tell he likes to talk. That's one thing I noticed right now. You can tell he really likes to talk. When you're in the house, is he going to talk too much? Is he going to say too much? You know, you're trying to build these connections. Are you going to say too much? Uh, but I also agree. It's like with experience and age comes with, you know, when to keep your mouth shut, you know, when to talk, uh, you know, when you're saying too much, when you're not, that just comes in time. But I just, I feel like this guy's social enough. Hopefully he doesn't annoy people. Like I say, if, if he can survive the first week, that was one thing I always said was, you know, I just got to get my claws into people. Once I get my claws into people, they're cooked they're done but i need that chance if, if i don't get that chance to put my claws in then i'm done you know uh jess what are your thoughts on uh what's his name cedric what's your thoughts yeah um i'm gonna piggyback off of what dennis said i i agree i think i mean at this point he's the youngest he'll be the youngest player and it looks like he has a good head on his shoulders like he seems aware um, I like the fact that he said adaptable. Not a lot of people say that, and that's something that's insanely important. 
in a big brother house because you go in thinking one way and it's completely opposite um the idea that he thinks that his socials is the only way is is one of the only ways he's gonna make it happen i wish i heard a little bit more of that strategic sense of like what he is going to do um he's you know he's right now competing with chelsea if she's still in the house for most likable person. And, uh, you know, and that's the thing about Big Brother. We all know this. We are all the most likable people in our group of friends. We are the most likable. And you go in and all 16 of them are the most likable people and the loudest people and the most, you know, out there people. And you have to learn like where you fit. And it's either you're going to be the loudest and the most obnoxious or you're going to tone it down. And does this cat have like what it takes? I mean, his frontal cortex still isn't developed. You know what I mean? Like he is still learning. If anything, being in this house is going to make him grow tremendously. Maybe he might be good all-stars material. You know, I don't know, but I'm, I'm excited. He is kind of a lovable character. He gives me kind of Hannah Chada vibes. Well, I mean, well, Hannah Chata was a lot more like low key, but if he can play like the little, uh, the little brother, if he can kind of, you know, kind of act a little bit more innocent, like he's not very aware and just kind of fun and playful. Um, those first few weeks are cool. I mean, he'll, he'll get into an alliance with, with the group that I see. I feel like it's not going to be very hard for him to group up with with people i I, feel, I i just i see his like i'm a I, I just see this guy has that charisma that like that magic powder that like everybody like needs like just to get in the he can get in a room and he'll make friends i just i see it maybe i'm wrong um i, I don't know i i see it keith talk to me yeah i really he, he won me over a lot I've, I've only seen like the 10 second clip before and i was like yeah um you know i think being 21 is a huge disadvantage in this Agreed. game I think, you know, when you're in your later 20s to early 30s, I think that's kind of like the sweet spot. Sorry, Dennis. Um, mm-hmm. But it's 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 uh, it's going to be, uh, I think, a good season for him. I see him going deep into jury. Um, I think the odds are really stacked against him to win, uh, even before stepping into the house. So I, I'm going to be excited to see how, how well he does. But I would expect it for jury. And I was actually thinking... Potential because of how young he is, and depending on how well he does, he could be a good candidate for all stars already. That's that's immediately what I was thinking when I seen Cedric. So, yeah, yeah cool. I, I'm with you. Like I, when I saw a 10 second clip, I was just like, get this guy out of here. Like, like come on, you know? Yeah. And and this is a complete 180. I'm just like, I'm like blown away by this guy. I, I'm I'm impressed. Which is yeah, like, this is this is growth out of you, Bruno. Thank you. We're watching you grow. Yeah. A beautiful, <laughs> mature man. Thank you. I'm growing. I'm trying my best. I no, agree. I'm telling you, man. This guy is. I, I see the X factor. Like, there's, I, there's I, always. I see what you mean, though. Yeah. There's an X factor in all players. Anybody that gets picked to be on these shows, any Big Brother Canada, U.S. Survivor, doesn't matter what it is. There's something about you that someone sees in you. And Jess said it, and I say it all the time too. Jess said it. In your group, you're probably the funniest, the the loudest, the the most whatever, whatever, whatever. You have something in your group that you stand out, and everyone says, "Oh, you should be on Big Brother because you do this," or "You should be on Big Brother because this guy is the guy." But when you put them all together, where does he sit? Where does everybody sit? Someone else is going to be louder or more social or yeah. more competitive, whatever it is. I really like him. I, I don't know. I didn't expect to say that tonight, but I really like him. Go, yeah, Dennis. Yeah, and I just want to state that. Oh, I'm sorry. I just want to state that when I said like Hannah Chada, I didn't mean loud like Hannah Chada. I meant like Hannah Chada was the youngest and she had a really good head on her shoulders for being young. So rude, Jess. You know? You're so, so rude. But that's okay. You know, it's a... sorry. <laughs> and that's the thing I was I was actually going to comment on him being 21. He does seem like he has a good head on his shoulder. Mm-hmm. He was in the Marine. We don't know why whatever happened. Right. But even there, you need to have skills. And I think he has that. Um, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I want to see him in action. Here's the and, and I want to just say this too for everybody in here. We don't know these people. They're again, they're talking in front of a camera. They can say whatever they want to say. They can be whoever they want to be right now. Once you get in the house, like that's it, the, the facade is off. Now you got to do the work. So uh, what I see, that's, April. And that's what we're doing right now. We know that they're talking to a camera. We know what our own experience, what we had to do in mm-hmm. front of the camera, and we could kind of read mm-hmm. through that. So we're kind of just yeah. stealing the camera character. Yeah, I, uh, I I like him. I like him a lot. But again, I want to see what happens next. Okay, next up, I believe it's Takor. Is that how you say it, Takor? 
Uh, oh, you can't see it yet, but. All right. Ready? This is Takor. I believe she's a, a quilting owner. I love her sweater. Yes. <laughs> I love her sweater already. All right. You ready? Yeah, Dennis got some good fashion. Dennis is, like, legit. He's good. All right. Let's check it out. Okay. Uh, who went first last time? Was it Jess? Kiefer, no, let's, hear, let's hear your thoughts on um, Takor. I, I love the I love the shirt. I didn't love the video. Uh, to me, it's kind of got um, sorry, Jess. It's got uh, pre Jerry written all over. Um, just just from what from what I've seen there, you know. Um, so oh my yeah, I, I I found a lot of that tough to swallow. Uh, just you know, as someone who loves the show, but again, there's just she can surprise us potentially. But the, the strategy of putting together misfits and, and stuff like that, 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 that's not a winning game. You need to align with the best looking people in the house and crawl your ass to the fucking finish line and grind out a win. I guess the only way you're going to win, <laughs> you're not going to win with a bunch of misfits. Um, so, he, he's on yeah, fire I, I, don't, I don't like the strategy. Keith is on fire <laughs> like right now. Tell us how you feel, really um, Keith. But I, I do love that. I love the crochet. My grandmother used to crochet like crazy back in the day. So I have a lot of little knickknacks around the house and, and, and memorabilia and stuff. So it's, it's cool. But uh, I mean, if I got to be brutally honest, that's just what I feel. I feel, I feel I, I, I like, a, yeah, I smell pre jerry pre for sure. <laughs> Keeper, yeah. you're growing. You're growing as a man. And I love it. You are growing as an, this is. See, Kiefer's at the point where he's just like, you know what? I'm gonna say it as it is, man. That's where I. Kiefer's always like, you're mean. I'm like, Dude, I'm not mean. I'm just saying I'm actually, what I think. I'm under the weather. I got like the flu or something. Does so. it not feel good to get I'm it off your like, chest, Kiefer? Does it not feel good to I be honest? Some, I ain't made some words today. Well, I mean, I've been honest all every time I've ever been on. We used to do these. We used to do these reviews. He'd be like, oh, they're the best. They're so great. It'd be the exact same. I know it sucks because oh, Jess is Chicago, <laughs> and Takor is Chicago, so there's already a connection. So I'm like, oh shit, no. Don't let me go first. He already knew. Um, I'm gonna be like, what? Okay, my take on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I love the accent. Like, I absolutely love the accent. Lo- the, the the sweater. Love the sweater. I'm with Keith. I thought it was <laughs> it was it was a very tough video to watch. You could tell she's in over her head. She doesn't know what what she's getting herself into. Saying things like, "I don't like this word, but I gotta manipulate." Like, what, what are you doing, man? Like, this is Big Brother. You know, you gotta do it. Like, this is, you know, it's it's tough, man. It's like you can't say, "Oh, I want to play." You know, I'm going to play hockey, but I don't want to skate. Like, no, you gotta skate if you want to play hockey. This is the rule. You want to go play Big Brother? You know, you don't have to manipulate, but you know, you can't be like, "Oh, I don't even like the word." No, do it, man. Like, go do it. This is the game. It's a game. It doesn't dictate who you are as a person. It's a game. You know, uh, I just, I don't know, man. I, I like her. I think she's adorable. I think she's cute. I think she's like. I like uh, I like her as a person. I think as a person, she's fantastic. I uh, love the accent, the sweater, but I mean, the gameplay is just a big zero for me. Like across the board, zero. Um, don't know if she knows the show. Don't know if she's seen the show. Don't know anything. But uh, everything to do with game, zero. Everything to do with her personally, a uh, hundred. I like it, but uh, but I mean, you know, that's what it is. Uh, uh, boys, what do you guys think? Uh, uh, Goose, Dennis, what are your takes? I'll go first. Okay. Um. I love the sociology background. I love that she's talking about maintaining a low threat level. Uh, what I'm worried about for her is I feel like she could be seen as a good option for a pawn. And uh, depending on how she deals with that or if she, it becomes a recurring theme, she could find herself in hot water. And worst case scenario for her, she could also be seen as someone to like, oh, throw her up, it won't rock the boat if she doesn't end up getting with the in crowd. Uh, yeah, because if she finds herself not in the in crowd, she tries to do the misfit thing, but the misfits aren't biting, then she'll be toast pretty much. So uh, I, I want to believe, I want to root for her, but uh, I could definitely see her being a pawn or an uh, early target, I'm afraid. Like like a good, and that's a good point. Like I want to cheer for her. I, I like her as a person. Like that's the thing. And every time we do these videos, it's never personal. It's always about the game. You know, I don't know her. I don't, I don't know her at all. I just know what I see here and it's about the game. So it's never personal. It's always game. I want to like her because I like her. I just, the game, I just can't. I just can't do it. And I'm not going to sit here and say I will, I can because I just, I can't. Uh, Dennis, what are your thoughts, buddy? Uh, she, you're all going to hate this and fucking rip me apart. <laughs> but exactly what she said, misfits, that's what I wanted to do. So I would put her in my group, but I would put her in my group 
knowing I would sacrifice her. Uh, that's the ruthlessness that you I have it. that I don't think she has. She talks about sociology and she comes off across as someone who would observe more than participate in. Um... She'd be very passive, I think, in her gameplay. She would wait for someone to like invite her in. Whatever alliance, she would be at the bottom. She would just be a number, unfortunately. Sorry, not to trigger you. Um, <laughs> yeah, she would just be a number. But again, love her. I would want her in my group, but again, I would sacrifice her. Yeah. That's a good take. Jess? I are you going to be nice? Or are you, so. you going to be nice? <laughs> well, yeah, I'm always nice. No, you know? I just, what are you talking you're about? All, you are. Jess um, is the nice one. No, and I agree with I, I agree with all of you. And God knows I, I want to root for her because she is a Chicago girly. I love her accent as well. Although it's a very strange London accent. I it's it almost like is a mix of Australian with something else. And like I I'm I'd love to pick her brain after. But yes, she's kind of a mi misfit and I've seen all of these before. So I'm not quite sure who she would make a misfit alliance with but the thing is is that from talking it sounds like she doesn't know the game like mm -hmm. and although she is a sociology major all that tells me is that she's gonna sit back and watch and she's not gonna do and what i see is that it's gonna be too late because if she's not as loud as everybody and we'll see it that everybody is very like I'm going to be the life of the party. I am likable. So far, all the people that we've seen have been that way. And she also says she's likable, but I don't see her as like making all of these alliances or trying to get into the group. I think someone's going to bring her along. And as Zina said, they're going to sacrifice her. Mm -hmm. She's She'd probably be the pawn star. She might probably get pretty far and she could make it. I could see I could even see her at a final five. I could see her being a final three, to be quite honest. She'd be the goat that people would take, you know. Um it, and maybe she might be able to use it to her advantage. But she, the, I think the biggest thing is that she's not gonna make alliances early on enough and she's gonna be left out. And if you know how it goes, if you don't do it in the beginning and you're not aligned to somebody, which I don't know who she would be aligned to, hopefully she could. But I mean, being from the south side of Chicago with two lesbian moms, that I mean, first of all, if you're from the south side of Chicago, I promise you, you're not what you, you're not watching Big Brother. I don't know of a south side like Chicagoan who is watching Big Brother. But I tell you, she's got she probably has a lot of grit. So she might surprise us. She might. She might. She might surprise us. You made a good point because you've um, seen all these videos. I haven't seen the videos yet, so you you can kind of see. Does she fit in here or there? I, I don't like. We've seen what three yeah. or four videos. I have seen ten second videos of people, but yeah, like I like perfect example of Cedric. I saw a ten second video of him, and I'm like, oh, this guy, get him out of here. And now I'm like turned around on him. So I don't know. Maybe that maybe someone else will change my mind uh, as well. All right, let's get on. That was Takor. Let's go to. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Dennis. I'm, I'm, hold on. How old is she? Oh, that's a good question. Twenty three. Okay. Did you say twenty three? Oh. She's 23. 23, yeah. Wow. No. I, who wants to take this one on, on the start? Let's go, you guys, the boys. You, the way you feel about him, I think the rest of the house is going to feel about him. You were entranced by him. He is very introspective. He has an older uh, parental figure. So I think that he's going to have a lot of patience and he likes to listen. And just the way he talks, it's very soothing and comforting, and that will draw people in. And he's also, it seems like he's very self-aware. He knows he it's not a charm, it's its a comfort. Uh, and that people will gravitate towards because they want to talk to him, hang out, and there lies his power. Almost like Anthony has his power in his words, this guy has a power in the way he draws people. And people will come to him and comfort, uh, and be comforted by him because he's so introspective. That's that's his power. You you are an example. You were entranced by him. Yeah, I I, I, I did uh, like him. Let's hear it, Goose. Let's hear it. Yeah, I mean, I like him too. The guy's got depth, and you know, I could see him having a strong uh, competition game. I could see him win some comps. I could see him having a strong social game. I could see it also going the other way, but I'm kind of leaning more towards him having a strong social game. But my gut's telling me that strategic game is where he's going to have trouble. 
And I think uh, the best thing that could probably happen for him is if he could team up with someone who's really locked in with the strategic aspect. That being said, I'm also thinking if, if that does happen and he makes it to final two, I don't know. I, this guy in final two, my head's just saying runner up. Like if I try to imagine like him in final two and winning, I have a harder time imagining it, but he definitely does have some potential. But yeah, I think the strategic game is where he's lacking and that could be his downfall. Oh, one last thing. He was saying about like, oh, dialing it back with winning competitions. Something tells me he's going to be like, oh, I shouldn't win this, but he's going to win it anyway. And mm. if that happens, I could see him really tanking this game. Interesting. I like it. Jessica, by the way, you guys, your camera's got a little uh, blurry there. I don't know if it's on your, on your end. Uh, we could see you. It's just a little blurry. Uh, that's all right. Jessica, talk to me. For who? For the guys? Huh? For the guys is blurry? Do you guys not see him blurry? Ours oh. looks fine. Yeah, oh, he's, he's, they're frozen. Blurry. Oh, they're frozen for you? Frozen. Oh, no, yeah. they're not frozen for me. Uh, Jess, tell me uh, your thought about yeah. these guys. About not these guys, sorry, about um, this guy. About, about these uh, guys, about Matt. Matt, to Matt. Um, interesting. I, I like him. I like him, but I think everybody's going to like him. And he gives me... He gives me Cody Calafuri vibes. He, um, you know, he's like very like lovable and cute, and um, and I like that about him. Uh, I'm gonna win the first HOH, and I'm gonna win these competitions. Is like eh, maybe not the best situation. That I'm gonna target. The super fans. Oh, I don't know about that situation. Probably not the best idea. Um, I don't know. He's, I, but I love that he's playing with his heart like this. You're so positive all and the time. That's what I love about you. It's like his heart and he's going to be, I, I would say if he makes it far, he'll probably be America's favorite player. I see that. I could see him being America's favorite player. Um, I think that he'll get along with, I love that he, it's kind of like this Matt Suri situation that I'm foreseeing that he's going to like have a, a big sister or a big, you know, or a, a mother like figure, or he's going to hang out with the older dudes, which could be very interesting. Um, I don't know. He gives me like bro vibes, but he doesn't give me bro vibes. Mm -hmm. He's like the kind of guy that I would probably align myself with if I was to at any point align with a bro. That like would it. be the bro that I would get. So Keith. I think he has, he, he's workable, but Keith. strategy wise, I'm not sure. Are you That's muted, Keith? You. What are you doing? You're going to mute yourself? You're back from the bathroom now. There you go. Nope. You good? Can't hear you. Nope. What'd you do, Keith? Okay, I'll, I'll come back to you. I'll come back to you. I'll come back. I can't hear you. I'll come back to you. you okay, tell so. Us all the nice things you got to say. My my thoughts. I think he's just playing because he doesn't want to say anything about this guy. He's like, "Oh, can you hear me? No, okay. Well, well. Uh, no, I, for me, I'll tell you my take. I'll take. I'll tell you my honest my my honest take about this guy. I like him. I do like him. I think he he's a, he's a nice guy. Like he's a kind guy. He likes the older souls. He's he, you know he talks about you know his elderly friends and da da da. I think he's a good guy. And like he said, you know, people think he's like a douche, but he's not. He doesn't seem like a douche. I agree with Jess. I don't think I don't see any strategy with this guy. Like on a personal level, this guy's awesome. But like, what did you tell me about the game? Nothing. You know, you said you want to go after the super fans. Okay, cool. Uh, but I didn't get any game talk. Nothing. I got absolutely nothing from this guy uh, at all. What's that? You got game talk because he's, he is a person that you want to be around with. And Big Brother is that social game. No matter what, you need people, and he's going to do that. What he's going to do. Who knows? Hopefully there'll be someone there that has experience, but he is going to attract people. Like he has the social game down mm. pack. I think him, he's the opposite of what Cedric is, where Cedric mm. is aggressive in that lovability. This guy is it's, it's passive and it's just comes so naturally and smoothly. He's like soothing this but guy where he's yeah, like Ah, yeah. I like still see Owen Wilson. Like a... That's all I know, man. I just look at him like this is <laughs> Owen Wilson. You can't tell me different. You guys, can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, we can. Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, 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 okay. One thing that hasn't been said, and this is going to be 100% true. You could put a fucking guaranteed keep it real stamp on this shit. Oh, this is 0% This man is going to be, 
This guy's going to be in a showman's, Bruno. Oh, okay. He's going to fight. Why did you say that? Of course he's going to be in a showman's. Right Damn, it's Kiefer White. Of course. Okay, but nobody said that. Have you, did you say that? Did Jeff say that? Did Dennis and Goose say that? No. Nobody <laughs> said that. He's going to be in a showman's. It's going to ruin his entire game. He's missing mama. He's going to be trying to <laughs> cuddle up on some boobies. And then all of a sudden, he's just not going to give a fuck about the game. And that's what's going to happen because he's Owen Wilson. Wow. Does he look oh, like. Playing. Okay, but, does he uh, remind I, you of Owen Wilson? No, <laughs> I don't see it. I I, I don't see it at all. It's the all. voice, the Luke way Wilson. he talks. It's not like the face. It's just like the way he's like, "Hey guys," like I don't know, man. Like I see Filipino it, man. Filipino Owen Wilson. Uh, hey guys. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Anyway, I agree. But it's got showman. He's gonna. He's gonna be. He's gonna be smooching around the BB house. I agree. I agree. I agree. I think he's a stud. I think yeah, the girls are gonna like him. He's got yeah. like, yeah, he's he's he's. I get it. I, he's I agree. He's handsome as hell. Yeah, but uh, strategy wise, yeah. uh, I don't see. I mean, maybe he's gonna surprise. I see a Tyler in there. Good social the game, first maybe. Three minutes of that video was amazing. The last two, it's like he got drunk. I don't know. <laughs> um. All right, let's go. Uh, that was who was that? Matt. We're gonna go to you know what, Kimo. You know what, What's that? You know what vibes he gives me. You know what vibe he gives me. When you're around a campfire and a guy pulls out a guitar, yeah. the guy that plays it <laughs> and just can't play no, it. Dennis, He's always off beat a little bit. Worst, that's my worst nightmare. Yeah. That's my ab- if someone like, does that, guys. I'm And then there was like, oh wait, I got it. And then like ding ding. Total oh, wait, no, that's not it. Wait, wait. vibes ding. like the, the the guy that I fell in love with at the fire. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I could do it. I, I swear I know the song. Ding. ding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, this is uh, this is chemo, guys. Uh, you ready for this? He's fucking done. <laughs> I'm gonna go first. I actually love this guy. Uh, he's my winner pick. I think this guy has what it takes. He really wants the money. Okay, he really wants the money. Okay. Oh my god, I can't. I listen. I, I gotta tell you guys. I, I, Real talk, real talk, real talk, real talk, real talk. I think this guy is 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 a really good person. I think he's a really fantastic person. Like you can tell, he's very happy and positive. But like, I'm and again, this is not personal. This is always game. Holy crap, man! This guy, I got. I don't know what to say, man. I, I, that was that was Do three minutes, that? and I was like, okay, like, what, what, what did we learn? Like, we learned that he he it likes is. the word adapt, and that he wants to win seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. And there's something about boats. Uh, it was in there somewhere. He is a uh, a mattress sales rep, so he is a salesperson. So he talks a lot. I tr- eight and a half minutes, man. I, I mean, know. <laughs> if you're a mattress salesperson, is it really a sale? Like you kind of need you to need sleep. a mattress. <laughs> You it's not like someone's going in and being if like, I'm going into, yeah, convince if I'm me. Like, going into a mattress, please. Do you need I'm a mattress or not? Mattress. Yeah, like, do you need a mattress or not? Because if you don't need a mattress, why are you in the store? Like, go next door to go wherever you got to go. Exactly. You know? It's not like they're outside <laughs> and just, you know, on the sidewalk, like, hey, you need a mattress? <laughs> yeah. uh, <no. laughs> People just come to you. You know what I mean? You don't have to, like, sell anything. You just point. <laughs> There's the mattresses. Go. You know what I mean? I don't know. All right, so I love this guy. He's my winner pick. Uh, all right, Goose and uh, Dennis, what are your thoughts? <laughs> but uh, real talk, I think this guy's amazing, like on a personal level. But like Big Brother, man, like come on, this—I don't know what happened here. But... Well, doing everything, but uh, honestly, I feel like he has more of a meandering conversation style. And I don't know these. Most of these people, I'm getting more of a kind of like quick to the point kind of vibe. So I feel like uh, that can maybe set him off at a different rhythm in terms of strategic talks. And also, he didn't mention, like, being a fan, but I'm really not getting a vibe. If he is a fan, I think I wouldn't – like, you can be a fan, but, like, can you are you a fan who's also a student of the game? If he's a fan, cool. I'm sure that helps for sure, like, no matter what. But uh, I feel like being a student of the game and a fan is where it really comes in clutch, and I'm not really seeing that from him, just from what we saw there. Uh, yeah, I uh, – I mean, I like the Hawaiian shirt, uh, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe pre-jury vibes, but uh, we'll see. You might surprise us. Yeah, I, I think very, very um, early boot. Go ahead, Dennis. The same way we felt with uh, Matt, Matt, uh, where you were drawn in the way he spoke, this guy does the opposite. When he speaks to you, you don't want to listen anymore. You want to run away. You don't, you don't want, and that's unfortunate <laughs> in the game. You want people to listen to you. Uh, so uh yeah he's an early boot for yeah. me i'm sure he's a wonderful person yeah just listening to him i already want to leave the room i'm looking for my water bottle or i have to go pee 
Right, yeah. He comes in, you're like, ah, I got to go over there and just count the wall. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, like, oh, where's, uh, yeah. Yeah, I got to count how many walls are in the house. I'll be right back. No, I, I agree. I think he's a very nice guy. Just, I, I just, there was just nothing there. And there's eight and a half minutes of that. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I can't do it. Uh, Jess. I would be his friend. Oh my God. You always have to find something nice. And I love you for that. But I just, I, <laughs> Jess picks him to win. If, okay, I'll tell you right I, now. He's if not this, a winner pick. okay, That's it's not that time. Winner pick. It's, it's that time. If this guy wins BB26, I'm going to shove this gauntlet straight up my ass. <laughs> I was waiting who. I was waiting who was going to get that. Who was going to get that. This is your guy. Ass. If he wins, I'm eating this gauntlet ass first. I'm doing it. I don't give a shit. It's happening. You ready? But you didn't do that for Kevin Jacobs. It's It, it, was, it was a long story. It was a long story. All right. So, mm. Jess, you like this guy? I mean, I, I like him as a person because they're all God's children. I mean... I like everybody. Yeah, sure. Okay, now let's talk about their game here, Jess. Uh... <laughs> that was a nice way to say it. I mean, yes, he was a little much. Um, but I love that he's part of the queer community. I love that he um, is from Hawaii. I think he has a lot of interesting stories. I am don't know if... Um, all right, I what about his strategy, from Jess? Here. From here, it just, I, so I don't a wonderful... think he has one. Oh. I, I think that, that the most that he said in those eight minutes was just adaptable and that he's just very adaptable. And mm. you didn't hear it. I don't know if we heard it of why he's adaptable, but it's actually kind of really funny. I didn't um, hear. I just he heard he like $750,000. Yeah, well, yeah. one of the reasons he said he's adaptable is because in Hawaii, like they um, they get they get um goods imported and sometimes they don't like it, the it, the food just doesn't show up and so they need to adapt with what they have i mean it was something of the sort i i i i, I lost i i really lost <laughs> i that didn't really pay attention after that that was, <laughs> it was a hard it, but it had nothing minutes. to do with big brothers so i just i think that maybe he will be fun to watch but i Oh, you know who he would remind me of? Who was that? Um, oh, oh my gosh, I kind of, I kind of love him too. But he gives me like, uh, Ke is it Kevin? Oh, um, from, the from... the like the mafia guy, Kevin. No, no, you're Ke uh, is it? Oh my god, which Kevin? You're uh, from BB, uh, BB Kevin. Jacobs? No, no, no not Kevin. Martin? Not Ke no. I'm gonna was shut up because I'm gonna butcher it. Like no, the one from last, not your season, the the season before, Kuzi season. Who the, the fuck is Kevin? Daniel, the Daniel. 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 Michael. No, no, not Daniel. Michael C. Huh? John Michael. Michael. Oh. John Michael. John Michael. John Michael. Oh. You know first why I don't remember his name is because you called him something different, Bruno. I called him something yeah. different. Yeah. Why are you bringing yeah, me Bruno into this? I'm just minding my damn business. <laughs> she said you Can did it. I just, I'm yes, just sitting here minding my damn I'm business. Sorry. There's a lot of people in the BB world, and sometimes my mind just doesn't go. But he gives me you know what? like that's throw it on me, be. Jess. Like he might be a little. I'll take the fall. You no, know, he he might go hard. He might he might go a little too hard, and not on the strategic sense. Yeah, but like yeah, he's. In the, I'm sure he's a lovely guy. Uh, this is uh, Rubina. I didn't, get to go. I didn't get to go. I didn't get to go. Oh, I'm sorry, Kiefer. I'm so sorry, Kiefer. Go ahead. Wow. I'm, I'm going to host so this cool. next time. I'm going to host this next time. Uh, I'm going to hand over the stream key to me, and I'm going to host. First uh, off, I got something to say, Bruno. Uh, I like this guy. Uh, get it back. Get it back on the screen, please. Okay, Just okay. Me. You know what? You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> he's got a weird name. Hold he's got on. a weird name that starts... He's got a weird name that starts with a K. Check. He's from an island where you have to take fucking boats to get to, and sometimes food don't show up. Check. He's indigenous. Check. He's 35 years old. Check. He's got flair. Check. He likes Hawaiian t-shirts. I just wear a Hawaiian t-shirt on this fucking thing, but it's cooking in my basement right now, so I just went with a regular t-shirt. Check. This fucking guy, man. This is my winner pick. 
write it down. Bruno's shoving that thing straight up his ass on stream. Uh, <laughs> not on Twitch, <laughs> only on Kick. Uh, I'm super excited. I like um, all my aunts and uncles call me chemo, weirdly. I don't know why. That's just, they, they just always call me chemo. So I was like, so anyways, he's from an island. He's indigenous, same age. That's my dog. I'm riding with, this is who I'm, I rode with Todd last season for no good fucking reason. I'm riding with chemo this season. This is your guy. For no good fucking reason. This is my guy, Bruno. This is the disrespect that you're giving me the chance to go on him. And you're pulling up the next lady. <laughs> Um, this is my dog. This is who I'm rolling with. All right. I'm I, I respect it. Just... Ke- chemo, uh, chemo for Canada's favorite player. Canada's I... favorite player. Oh, shit. Yo, if he gets AFP. Oh. If he gets, a, if he gets oh, America's favorite player, I'll shove this entire fucking desk in my asshole with the glove. Okay? <laughs> oh, shit. That could actually happen. That could actually happen. That could be. That I could need be a five be careful with those promises. You get used to the cameras eventually. Never know. (laughs) All right, Rubina. Rubina. Nice. Depending. Yeah, probably. She's too nice, too authentic, and I think she's a great wing person. Like, she's going to be someone's best friend. Maybe if someone early on, she's, again, nice person. But I think that's the problem. She's nice. And she is going to be someone's friend. This facial expression to me says it all. <laughs> that is, that just says it all for me right there. That, that, that's, yeah. that is my answer in a facial expression. That is my answer right there. Yeah. How many but, more minutes? <laughs> too many. Too many. I think y'all are tired. That's what Yeah, happened. this is so funny. Well, I think the most iconic thing. Like, what is she is talking like about? snack storage room where people low-key go in there to release their emotions. <clears throat> love one another <laughs> okay rubina everybody okay so what do we think of rubina <laughs> key first since i almost bitch. missed you last time but what let's talk let's go with you first yeah uh, <laughs> don't know i don't know i don't like her um, I feel like she's someone I would gravitate towards hanging out with in the house and potentially trying to work with. Um, but just by seeing some of the other characters we've seen thus far, I don't know where her place is going to be. Uh, yeah. I, 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 I really wish you didn't start with me on this one. Uh, I'm, a, I'm still coming down from my chemo rant. Um, <laughs> but Rubina... Uh, um, she's going to have Matt in there who's also um, Filipino who said he's looking for a motherly or a family in there and they could actually potentially be a duo now that I'm thinking about that out loud because she's a bit on the older side and she's bringing that big stitch energy so we could potentially see that and yeah it could be you know kismet I'm going to pick her to win Wait, what? How many of these people are going to win, Kiefer? <laughs> Look at Jack. He's, he said, okay. All right, you ready? Yeah. Okay, we're going to keep moving there. That was uh, Rubina. I mean, she was great. I think you. I think y'all are sleeping on her. I honestly think that she could potentially go far. You don't know how these uh, little Filipino women Act, okay, I have several that are besties. Uh, she said she's gonna be the ate, the big sis. Matt is looking for a big mom, a mom figure, a sister, or a, an older figure. Uh, they have something in common. I think they're going to, and I think that she is gonna low key be the um, I. I'll see. I'll even go this far. She is going to be the koozie of the season. She mm. will say her piece. She will keep it moving. She'll keep it real. I don't think that she's going to sugarcoat shit. I think that she's big on energy. So she, the people she likes and she vibes with, she's going to vibe with. And she's going to be able to like kind of filter out like the people that she does it. And it's going to, and she's not, 
and and she's not going to sugarcoat shit. I think that she is very much she gives me that vibe. She gives me that vibe. Yeah, I, I'm kind of whatever about it. I think I think she could be a pleasant surprise, like just like we don't see it coming. But again, I, I don't know, man. Like even the way she was talking to the camera, I just I just feel like I don't know, man. It was it was it's tough to watch. She's like laughing at her own jokes. I don't know, like and there's nobody in the room but her. I don't know, man. It just I don't know. I don't know, man. It just she didn't she didn't yeah. do it for me. She's giving me Tara vibes from like my season. There you go. And that just Oh no, that girl is me. later. That that girl's later. You'll oh, we got it. We got a Tara her. coming up. There's a Tara of the season. Yes, absolutely. All You'll right. see her. Let's see. In, uh, in a few. All right. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, hey, I haven't. Hold on, give Goose. Oh, a voice. Goose. I'm so sorry, buddy. Goose. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, you know, I think she'll be a great character. Will she be a great player? I think she has the potential. If she lives long enough. I get the feeling she'd be a fearless player, and maybe she'll make a move too soon and it'll uh, backfire. But at least it'll be good TV. Uh, I hope she gets herself in a good position because I'm worried that if she's not in the majority, I feel like the majority would target her. You can tell she's going to kind of like lay it all out there. Uh, and I feel like because she kind of stands out, it's tall poppy syndrome. If she's not in the majority, they might target her. But uh, I hope she's able to get through the initial bid, and I'd love to see a Rubina HOH reign. I think it'd be cool. that's, a, that's a good take, actually. I really like I do like that take. Um, and I agree with that. Actually, I do kind of agree with that. It's where it's like, yeah, she's either in the majority in a good spot, or if she's not, people are just gonna want to get her. I think she's gonna annoy people. I, if I'm being honest, I think she's gonna be a little bit annoying. Uh, maybe not. What more more annoying than some of the other people that we? Oh, see? they're all annoying so far, but she's gonna be she's gonna be annoying. But I, there is a lot of them in there. Yeah. Jessica. Oh, yeah. I see. I know that look. I know when I'm in trouble with Jess. All right, Jess. We're going to start with Jess because Jess is in love right now. She loves him. Jess, what's going on, man? Let's hear your thoughts on uh, Cam. <laughs> I already saw him. I already saw him last season. What? Why are they bringing him back? Like, I don't understand. This, like, if anything, this is just, he gives me such, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing vibes. Like, but I'm gonna pretend like I know this game and I'm the best shit you've ever seen. Like I, I'm, I'm not about it. I, I didn't like watching Jared on his season. I don't like that this guy is literally copying, literally his whole strategy. Just I, mean, <sighs> I, I don't want to see a, a remake, a Jared point two. I do not want to see that. So. So is, I, I have no, I have no words. Is he your I, winner pick? <laughs> <laughs> if he wins, I am going I'm to sending stick this to you. that glove up my. <laughs> <laughs> Jess, I, was, I, I will was mail it to you. <laughs> I will mail it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh! No, I mean, if, if if nobody has seen the comparison here, what are you talking about? He wants to stick with the old people. He wants a a relation. He wants a showman's. He thinks he's the hottest shit like on the face of this earth. Like I know a lot of people need to come in there with a healthy amount of confidence, but this guy is so obviously overly confident of something that he has no idea what he's about to go into. It's it's going to be, if anything, very good. Very good TV. All right. Jess loves this guy. Winner pick. Uh, Dennis and Love Goose, uh, what are your thoughts on it? I'm going to disagree with Jess. I don't think he thinks he's hot shit. Like, he keeps saying, I want to work with this type of person. I think he's a very good foot soldier. I think someone like a Sari could bring him in and use him to do the things that a Sari character could not do. I don't know if there's any other, uh, older people in here. But the fact that he calls out, like, yeah, I'm going to need someone older. So he's looking for guidance. He's looking to be someone's foot soldier, someone to tell him what to do. So I think that's a good player. Uh, I, I don't see the confidence that you see in him at, at all. I think he's very really? just like, I, I, I see the Jared comparison, but I don't see the confidence in him. Uh, Goose, what are your thoughts? Yeah, it's like overly, when I mean confident, I'm like overly confident to the point where it's just like, ew. <laughs> I think oh, Jess is a little bit excited about him. She's saying, ew. Usually when girls say that, they're like secretly crushing. You know what I mean? She's like, ew, he's so gross. Oh, yeah. And then she's like, hey. Oh, yeah. 
Hey. Yeah, you know I mean? uh, Goose, what's going on? It seems uh, he seems a bit of a chill guy. Seems kind of well rounded, and I could see him uh, going far. But the one thing he says, like, "Oh, I want to get an alliance with the manipulators." But to me, I feel like he wouldn't be that hard to manipulate. So I agree with what Dennis is saying about the foot soldier aspect, and like, but it's like if you get to the end of the foot soldier, is that going to win you the game? On the same, I do see a lot of what Jess is saying too, and part of me thinks it is possible he could kind of like end up being really messy because. He does mention backstabbing, which I like, but at the same time, like his game knowledge doesn't seem great. And I could see him kind of really ending up in a messy situation. So, uh, yeah, I, uh, I mean, I don't see him as an early boot, but I also don't see a high win equity for him either. Yeah, I, oh, I and, uh, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Me he'd like put on HOH, he'd put up uh, Rubina. My gut's telling me he'd do that if he won HOH. I don't know. The way I, the way he I see this guy, would technically be the old person. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i mean she's I, uh, one of the older people isn't she i gotta say i i i don't see the problem with this guy yeah he's definitely a recruit 100 percent recruit um doesn't understand the game i i see that but i also see he's a very social guy you can tell he's used to being around people he's probably very you know you know popular in his circle probably has a lot of friends knows how to just be around people knows how to talk to people and i think that's something that uh, that people overlook um like, like, look at, like, Anthony Douglas. Perfect example. When on his first season, he never watched Big Brother. He didn't know Big Brother. Uh, and he did a good job. You know what I mean? There's a lot of players like that. I think this guy, now I'm not saying he's Anthony Douglas. What I'm saying is there's players that just have natural social ability. They get thrown into a social experiment. And they thrive because they're just social people. Um, sure, he doesn't know the game. But a lot of people pick it up as they go. And they learn as they go. And as long as he's in the right circles, he has time to learn. And if he can survive, you know, two, three, four weeks it's enough time to learn, okay, this is how the game plays out. And if he's friends with enough people, they're going to kind of point him along the way, help him, you know, uh, learn, uh, uh, memorize the days, or this is what you got to do. Oh, okay. I got to do that too. Cool. But like, he'll have the, I think the way I look at it, he could have the social part of it down and he can just learn the rest along the way. But I think if his social game is good enough, uh, he can stick around or people might see him as a threat because, you know, he's a physical, I think he's a physical, uh, is he a trainer or a physical therapist or something like that? Okay. So he, he he's a very, you know, and he says he's athletic and stuff. So, you know, if people see him as a threat in that in that aspect, then maybe he'll get targeted early enough. But, it, again, it all depends <laughs> who he vibes with, where he sits in it. Uh, but uh, I, I just – I see him doing well. I see him being good socially uh, and uh, and just fitting in, man. I don't know. I don't know. Keith, what's your thought? Yeah, total Jared vibes 100%, um, especially wanting to team up um, with – the you know old older people in the house um <clears throat> which i think they've done a pretty good job this year in bringing in a bit of an older cast which i really l like and appreciate but uh, i know this guy's already got like i think like 530,000 followers on instagram and i think oh. his other socials are are, are are super inflated just like that as well so he's already um, in that space, you know what I mean? Like the influencer realm. Okay. So I, I don't really know. He's 100% a recruit. Yeah. Um, I'm not really looking forward to watching his game, especially just still being scarred from, I think, what a terrible season last season was. Um, right. So the hopefully 25? it was, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that that was tough to watch. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I thought I really liked Sari, and then when Sari went out, it was just like, uh, um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm on, I'm on team dress with this one. I think he's going to be overly confident. I think he's not going to team up with any old people. Uh, he's going to go with the hot young people and they're going to try to win every competition and pick off all the old people and the misfits. And it's going to be classic big brother America. <laughs> Sorry. That's I, I gotta tell you. Who knows? Maybe he gets surprised. Maybe he could surprise me. So that's the thing, right? Again, they're in this room. They can say what they want, how they feel at that moment. Yeah, we're gonna go with the open. They get in the house. They just not, you know, naturally click to you know younger people or the stud or the the beauty, whatever it is. Boom, uh, you know, everything he talks about here is out the window. Right. What what does he do on? Does anybody know what he does on Instagram or TikTok? They have so many followers. I just seen a screenshot that he had that they're like, man, this guy's got this many followers already. Probably so. just goes shirtless, but I don't know. What is it? <laughs> yeah, what's his thing? I don't know. And he's out. Feet picks? It works. But I want to win the first HOH. 
I gotta say that about that. I think winning the first HOH. Uh, what are your guys' thoughts on that? To me, I think it's becoming the meta. I think that's the way to play now. I think before oh, it no. used to be you don't want to win first HOH. I think now it's switched to being you want the first HOH. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Get in the majority alliance. Yeah. One hundred percent. Yeah. I, I agree. I, yeah. I used to be in, in the mindset where you don't win first HOH, let someone else do it, but you're leaving it up to I wouldn't, so much I wouldn't chance. Do it. Personally, I, I wouldn't want it. I wouldn't want it. I would. It's, it's technically, te technically, on my season, we had, we you know, we had the um, the counselor, you know, kind of like the twist before yeah, the, thing. The, yeah. the first the first HOH, but I would have considered that almost like a first HOH at for safety because once you have that safe, it didn't matter. Like J and Jackson won the game, you know, like and he had that first that first week and he took that first week to really say mm -hmm. I'm you know, I'm solid and I can move about feeling free and just saying what I need to say and getting in with the, with the, with the HOH and Chrissy was the first HOH and she did pretty well on her season on, on our season as well. So yeah, I think first, yeah. first HOH is definitely, if you do it, if yeah. you do it wisely, because there have been some like Daniel from Taylor season, who was a hot mess and didn't even make alliances. Ugh. It was just like chilling yeah. in the house, in in the room. But if you know how to use it, I'm with you. Sure. I, I'm with you 100. I feel like a lot of time it depends who wins it. First of all, right? There's players out there that can win the first HOH and be a disaster. But then there's players out there that can win the first HOH and literally set the pace of the season or set their path on the season, make certain enemies, make whatever. I feel like, again, I used to be at the mindset, you throw the first HOH. I was like that for a while, and now I think it's all shifted. A lot of times, if you do it right, you can really position yourself yeah. uh, to go far. That's my, my take on it. All right. Uh, let's keep it. I don't know. Do you guys want to keep I think she's. I think her video is not that bad. Eh? No, I yeah. have, We've seen enough. I have a really good impression of her. She kind of gives me Janine vibes from my season, mm. which is a good and bad thing. Mm -hmm. People can see her as uh a target as someone who's too strong but i think she's very calm even the way she spoke she, she leaned in she had this arm crossing she has authority to her i love that i think cam should work with her uh this is the person that he should be working with uh and if, if she could utilize cam perfect duo but she has a lot of confidence she's attractive as fuck she is smart threat but i hope she mitigates that I hope she realizes that she becomes a threat. She's also older. Uh, package here. Package yeah. here. Yeah, I like her. Very confident. I like that. Very strong. I like that. Uh, she seems to know what she wants. I like that. The one thing I don't like is how she said she's a control freak. And I get it. You know, that that's fine. I just, uh, it, you can't control what's in the house. Like, you got to be able to be like a duck. Let it roll off your back. Things are going to happen. That's something, like, that's something like, they're not fucking doing the laundry. All right, I'll do the fucking laundry. Or the dishes are not done. Like, it's those things that she might be able to channel through. So, when I, on, on my, the first one I played on, on season three, we had Risha. Risha was a control freak. And that's what got her on the block. Was she would come in and be like, you guys aren't doing your dishes. I'm not going to do your dishes. You better start doing your dishes. I'd be like, who the fuck are you? Like, get out of here. Like, who, who the fuck are you? You know what I mean? I didn't come here to get told to do my fucking dishes. Now, should they be doing them? Yes. But, you know, if you start going around telling people, you should be doing this and you need to do your laundry, they're, they're like, buddy, get out of here. Like, so if, if she gets like that, where she starts getting annoyed at people because they're not doing their laundry or they're leaving their bowl. Dude, we had a bowl under the couch that literally had mold, a bowl of slop under the fucking couch that had mold on it and it smelled like shit. Because someone just left it under the, the, the couch. But you're going to pick a fight over it? No. You're just like, that's yeah, fucking gross. But, but what, I mean, what I mean by the OCD, her uh, control issue is, all right, you can't control people and what they're saying. So instead, go do the dishes. Go do like mm. do channel that OCD-ness into something else. If yeah, she but knows she, how to do that, yeah. it won't be a problem. If she's picking fights about it, I think it's a problem. That's, that's why I see it too. Yeah. But yeah, if she's just going to take care of herself, go do it. Yeah. All right, Keith, what do you think? Yeah, total terror vibes for sure. She's going to take out Chemo um, in the final four. Uh, Chemo is going to go home a legend. <laughs> going to win America's favorite. Um, and then she's going to go on to come third place and get absolutely no money. Um, um, no, I do want to state, did, and 
I don't I don't know what we saw, but if you guys aren't planning on watching the rest of this video, she says that she wants to align with a showman's and mm -hmm. she wants to uh and she wants to take out people that are like her. That's okay. Ooh. I just want to I like that. That's her strategy. I like, I just, uh, yeah, I could see her going deep in this game. And I wouldn't be too focused on the control freak aspect because I think very quickly you get that mob mentality and you kind of just learn to go with the flow of things. Um, like on my season, the, everybody was a clean freak. I didn't have to do shit. Uh, we had Jed, Ty, Tina, and Tara that were just absolutely killing it every everywhere on, you know, Everyone else was kind of just holding their own, but uh, damn, yeah, no, I, I, I think they'll be okay. That's a very good season you had there, Keith. <laughs> yeah, with Yo Jado was amazing. He was always doing something. Ty was very clean. I cooked. Everybody else did the dishes. Like he was very copacetic. Interesting. Interesting. It was good shit, man. Well, I, I, and I don't know. I just I... winner pick. Winner pick. Winner pick. Clip it, chat. Clip it, chat. Clip it, chat. I think here's the thing. I think she. Um, I, I. I don't know. I like. I do in a way. I like her. I don't know enough about her. Um, but it, it, she definitely seems like she knows what she wants, and uh, she's hungry for it. And, and and you know what? Someone that's hungry for something is hard to stop. I don't think she's gonna go in and just be a piece of furniture. I don't think she's just gonna go in and bring us nothing. I think she's gonna bring something, one way or another. Uh, you're gonna remember her for whatever she does. I think she's gonna come in, bring the heat, good or bad. Uh, you're gonna remember her. Uh, Jess, did you? Did I go through Jess Goose? Jess, I can go. Um, yeah, I think she's got like a magnetic charisma. Like just listening to her talk, I was like really getting drawn in there. I am worried about the control freak thing though. That could maybe uh, go back to bite her. Um, yeah, I think she's definitely got potential. I could see her getting in a good alliance and being a strong voice, and then going far. But I feel like some players, like, initially they don't find themselves in a good position and they're able to still not be an immediate target or they're able to better their position later. I'm feeling like if she doesn't find herself in a good position early, she's going to be in really, really hot water. Mm -hmm. I like that. Uh, Jess? Yeah, I think I said what I... I, I don't know. Did you talk about I, her? I, I like Oh, yeah, you said she did the whole thing. I, think, I mean, yeah. I think, like I said, I think she gives me Tara vibes, which is a very strong, confident woman. She's a very strong, confident woman. And you know me, I love strong, confident women. So if she is doing it for the moms and for the, you know, for the wives out there and saying that we all can kick ass and do it. And she's a former Mrs. America. That is not an easy thing uh, to win. So we know she got some confidence. We know that she's able to make you know, uh, that she has that charisma, you know, I think that she could make it pretty, um, pretty far, especially with some of the people that are here, the people that are looking to align with older people, the ones which like a Matt who's looking for a mom type figure, even though she's a mom and she's married, but I don't think, I think she's got more of a Stacy's mom got it going on, you know, where the guys are going to be dreaming about her not necessarily looking for a mother figure i see what you did there putting, you yeah. know i see what you did there yeah all right that was brooklyn <laughs> we're gonna look at uh who is this guy joseph i don't plan on really talking about poker if it comes up You've i'll be honest about it but if there's any yeah to me this guy okay who wants to take this one if I start go for it guys this is my winner pick. Oh. This is who is going to win. <laughs> Kiefer, what do you got with this guy? No. Uh, I think he's going to be a great ally. I think he's going to be in a good bromance. I think he's going to be loyal to the people that he teams up with. Um, potentially forgettable. Uh, potentially pre-jury. Might be too loyal to his what? alliance to start the game. Um, he could be first boot, uh, but who knows? It's, it's, it's a big brother world. I'm not getting the great, like, it, it's just, I'm just not impressed. I'm not getting a great first impression from, what's this guy's name? Uh, I Joseph. forget. What is it? Joseph. 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 <laughs> Don't act like you knew his name, Jess. Don't act like you Jess knew his for... name. Yeah. I, Jess is like, I just, I don't know. I'm not, uh. Keith, you know what I love about Kiefer? He's 
he his wings he's he's his wings are growing i love this he's got his wings this year he was always so nice and now you're being honest i'm nice to the canadian ones i love uh, that you're honest <laughs> I, I, oh man, I gotta, I'll, I'll say it. I'll say it. I keep a real mentality, baby. Say it. I'll say it. This guy is the typical guy who's going to say everything you want to hear that says he's a super fan. He's going to tell you everything he thinks. The second he walks in that house, he's a completely different person. This guy is, I give him a zero across the board. This guy is your typical. What? Yes. Zero across the board. This, oh. I, you mark this right now. This guy is a dud right there. This guy is a dud. He yeah. is an absolute fucking dud look at this guy this guy's probably tried out a hundred times that's fair he realized he didn't have what it takes to get on he changed his stitch his shtick he grows a fucking mustache plays the part that he's gonna fucking be the next dan giesling and i gonna do this and that he's saying the right things because he wants to be on the fucking show this guy's a dud i smell a dud a mile away this is him right here what's his name joseph dud joseph dud no no i disagree I Let's hear it. That. Let's hear it. I, this guy to me is the is the dud of the cast. This guy is not going to be anything you see uh, in in this video right here. He's saying he's going to be the manipulator. He's going to put stab and this guy is none of that. What you are feeling are that he's non threatening and that can work for him. He is his authentic self. He's non threatening. He knows what he needs to do. He's saying Dan Giesling. Everyone fucking says Dan Giesling. I'm so sick. Of Everybody does. Hundred awesome. percent. That's Bless how you know awesome. they're a dud. So, well, Any anyone that says say, they're Dan Giesling is a dud. They don't say a lot of Dan Giesling. They say Cody and Derek, but no, really? everyone I, says I, Dan Giesling. I and, just hear Dan all the time. Bless him, but it, it's over. Dud. He is non-threatening, and he could be used. Not a dud. He just knows how to fly under the radar. It depends on what kind of season this is. A flying under the radar person could do very well, or they'll get picked up. It depends. I think he could work well with someone like what was the girl beforehand? Brooklyn. The Terra. Yeah, Tara. Brooklyn. Was it Brooklyn? Yeah. Was Brooklyn. It yeah, Brooklyn. I think Brooklyn. Yeah. <laughs> she reminded us of Terra, but yeah. Uh, I think they would work very well together. He is non-threatening, and he needs to weaponize that. That's what you guys are feeling—the non-threatening vibe. On, on paper, that sounds fantastic. In the house, that does not work. You could just – there's four people that say they want to fly under the radar. Well, who, who's the one that's going to do it? Someone's got to go. He has the they humor. all say they're likable. The nah, this guy's a dog. This guy – Two if weeks I, into the show, I'm going to be able to use his DRs to fall asleep. If I didn't already do my Galtnet bet, if I already didn't put chemo on the Galtnet, <laughs> fuck, you know what? Let's go to – I'm doubling down. If this guy don't wins even, or chemo even. wins, I will literally shove this in my ass. Fuck it. Let's go. He's literally, literally giving us everything that Kevin Jacobs gave us. This That's guy? exactly oh, am, Is this said. thing on? That's Hello? Am Kevin I on a – Am I in a nightmare right now? Kevin, Kevin did not come off well. We are doing revisionist history here. Bless him too. But Kevin did not come off well first off. He worked it. And yeah, after he was almost for his boot. Whoa, 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 whoa. In this community, we loved Kevin. I never we, said like Me yeah. and Chat, me and Chat rode and Jets. We rode Kevin hard. Uh, Br Bruno was. I was, was hard on Kevin. He was my winner pick. Kevin was my yeah, I, pick. I was hard it's on true. Kevin. Like, 100%. I was like, this guy is, is, yeah, is hard. I was going for Josh. Really but Kevin Jacobs, to me, the bio and everything, I was not a fan. But, you know, now I like Kevin. He's a buddy of mine. But, like, in the bio and all that stuff, I was not a Kevin Jacobs fan. 100%. He did not come off well. He, come off well. he just played 100%. a game and by that. That's fair. Like that's fair. But now he's this my boy. I love Kevin. I have no problem with him. But this in this guy, bio, this like, this guy. guy he will surprise us. He will surprise us. This guy? Word. Okay, you know what? He will come back in a month. In a month, he's still going to be around. He's going to be surprising us. No, in a month, he's going to be talking yes. in my stream with us because yeah. he's second boot. <laughs> a month? Yeah. Give him, I'll give him 14 days. We'll be chatting right Wait, here, buddy. He didn't finish. When he does didn't Jerry finish start? The... Like 70 days in? Well, don't <laughs> worry. He'll be out here in 13 um, days. We'll see him here. We, nice... we didn't watch the we didn't watch the part where he said that he wanted to okay, well, let's, okay. line himself with like a bro. Okay, let's listen to this guy. He's got two minutes see, on. I, I want to hear this guy. I could see him being he he's gonna be in a bromance. Ass. They gotta get out of here. Yes, for sure. He will surprise us. He will surprise us. This guy? Word. Okay, you know uh, what? He will come back in a month. 
in a month, he's still going to be around. He's going to be surprising us. No, in a month, he's going to be talking yeah. in my stream with us because yeah. he's second boot. <laughs> No. A month, no. give him, I'll give him 14 days. We'll be chatting right he, here, buddy. He didn't finish. When he does Jerry start? The... Like 70 days in? Wow. Well, don't <laughs> worry. He'll be out here in 13 um, days. We'll see him here. Give we, him a nice... we didn't watch the, we didn't watch the part where he said that he wanted to okay, well, let's, okay. line himself with like a bro. Okay. Let's listen to this guy. He's got two minutes. See, on. I, I want to hear this guy. I could see him being, he's going to be in a bromance. The they got to get out of here. Yes, for sure. Do I see myself as being a backstabber? Absolutely. Okay, I'm gonna I've stab seen enough. so many backs. I've seen enough. This guy has. Yeah, I've seen, seen enough. enough. I've seen enough. That's enough. Come I've seen now. enough. I've seen enough. Hey, I got places. All right. I think he's got stops. You know, uh, I think him and Brooklyn. I think they're gonna be at odds. If that was interesting, you thought they'd work well together. I think they're gonna be at odds. But uh, I think definitely uh, he's got some potential. He kind of reminds me of a uh, Turner in twenty. For just with the vibes, but I think he's, he has more of a better game knowledge than Turner. Mm -hmm. I do, I do kind of, I see both sides though. I feel like I could see him just like being seen as too non-threatening. If this house is very focused on assets, they might be like, eyes oh, not an asset, throw him up as a pawn, send him out, whatever. It really depends on like, I think he's got the strategic chops, but he, I feel like this guy's <laughs> more a quirky character. And if the, his personality works with this cast, then his social game will really flourish. But uh, will he be able to do it? I'm, this guy is piece in the puzzle. I'm not sure like how it's gonna go. So uh, I kind of see both sides. I'm I'm rooting for the guy. I really like him, but I'm not sure if things are gonna turn out the way he hopes. Just like seeing the cast we've already seen in this guy, I already see that this guy is gonna. He goes in all confident. He thinks he's gonna be this. He's gonna go in and be like, man, what am I doing here? Like these guys are gonna just eat me alive. And, and I feel like he's not going to do anything he says he's going to do. And if, but he's going to be the one in the diary room claiming he's doing everything. He's going to be the diary room warrior. He's like, yo, I'm just destroying everybody. They're my puppets. And he's going to be out there fucking sucking his thumb in the corner crying. You know what I mean? Like, this guy is nothing. This guy is complete dud. This is the guy that's been watching on his couch too many years and thinks he's going to go in and just mop the floor with everybody. In his mind, he's already won. He's the greatest thing to ever come into Big Brother house. And this guy is this, this, this guy is nothing nothing I, I mark it right now this guy is a zero across the board sure he's a nice guy zero 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 man i give him a zero all right next. zero zero what's his name doesn't even matter zero we're gonna call him zero across as somebody who is a good person who's uh, trying to win some money and um i'm just gonna do what i need to do to provide for my family and i think this is a great way to do it see i see this guy doing everything that zero said he's gonna do opposite i think the opposite like this guy <laughs> lived that life zero's oh. pretending to live that what? life this guy's like first boo listen to me as the way he's talking this guy is steve I'm gonna come with a complex plan i'm gonna be good dude you're this guy lives the life that zero wants no, this guy wants to live what zero. Uh, no, I'm not calling him zero. Joseph. <laughs> I don't know who Joseph is. I don't, okay, let's listen. Let's listen. But uh, what better way to impress my wife, who is probably the biggest Big Brother fan? Okay, okay, she's the biggest fan. Okay. Uh, all right. So, uh, <laughs> all right. What do we think of this guy? Um, <laughs> I mean, I feel like shout out uh, uh, Derek uh, 2.0's um, wife. Okay. What do we got here? A lot of people want to work with someone older. He looks the oldest sort of everyone. Like just looking at him uh that being said like uh i was thinking before i knew he was a cop i was kind of getting that vibe so like if he tries to hide yeah. i think it's gonna last yeah. and then i'll just Neither make it suspicious. and if he tells him he's a cop well that puts a target on his back uh yeah i, I mean part of me wants to think he'll make a deep run but not nah, i i think I, I don't think he's gonna get that far unfortunately and also to what he said about like uh joking and being like oh is that guy serious I think that kind of like humor can rub people the wrong way. Mm. Will it rub this cast the wrong way? That remains to be seen. Uh, I do feel that uh, he at least the cast does want to work with older people, so that could help him. But overall, I think uh, he's going to have a tough run. That was, a, I think, that was a very, very accurate uh, call on this guy. I agree with like, literally everything you said. the the fa The fact that you said, you know, people are like, "Is he serious?" In this house, the the smallest thing people will blow it up to make you a target. You know, it's just how it is. 
it could be something so small and just it's nothing but they're like hey this is our chance to kind of pump that up a little bit put some air on that fire and 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 make it a you know a full-blown bonfire so yeah I, i could see him getting in trouble like that a little bit he is the older guy but again like you said there's the people that wanted to be friends with the older people it, it all depends on this like, where people fall i think the first couple of days will dictate how this guy does maybe he's one of those guys that if he gets his claws in he goes far i, I don't know but uh yeah. the whole derek lavasse thing and then he got into it because of derek anybody that started watching around you know 16 they they know modern big brother and it's just it's to me and, and no disrespect but it's not real like like if you start watching at 16 that's not real big brother you gotta you gotta get before then then you understand yeah. the game and then you can play modern big brother but with that old mentality or at least you know uh, knowledge yeah. uh you know when you start watching at that season to me it's 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 uh you know um i like him i, I don't know i see i could <sighs> i could see him first boot i could see him doing well I'd see him winning nah but i could see him going deep but maybe getting pulled along and cut along the way i i don't know i, I have I, yeah. I could see both sides of it for sure. What's up, Jess? If you guys don't plan on watching the whole thing, he does say, I don't know if he, he hasn't said it yet, but he plans on winning every competition. Yeah, like he's not happen. planning to throw anything. So he's he's very much like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it every single time. I don't, I don't like, you know, he doesn't believe in in losing. Um, and he would be targeting people who take things too seriously so i think that he's gonna he's gonna say a really funny cop joke or so one of those like whatever jokes and it's gonna be totally offensive and someone's gonna take it personally and then they're gonna be at odds with each other dude is like either he's gonna be first boot or he's gonna be very early but the thing is is that there are older people he wants to align with the older people and there are a good amount of older people it's just a matter of whether or not they're gonna be like open to his kind but he he's like he gives me city cop like that's like all it's like written all over his face so if someone cannot like read that first at the at the first moment like i'm i'm very curious as to see what he says that he does for a living right like dennis Mm. what do you got uh very quick um i think being older and being a former cop, he has certain rules. He's very regimented. And if things don't make sense to him, he'll fall apart and break down. And that's where he'll lose. Uh, almost like a control freak. That's what I have to say about him. He's not, I don't think he'll last very long. Keith? Other than the fact that he looks just like he could be your little brother, uh, it's freaking me right out. <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, I uh, bold prediction here and bold prediction here. Uh, he's going to be live feeded out. He could be no. He could be live feeded out. One of the people who gets trashed by the live feeds says something incorrect. Uh, you never know. And I'm just saying this because yeah. he's an older white dude. Let's be honest. Let's just let's just call it how it is. And he's a cat. and his wife he's, and his wife watches his wife watches he does it he's not a live feeder he probably doesn't even know the fandom he doesn't know what he's getting himself into I agree. if he's in there for three weeks get super comfortable or he's going to be in the room when somebody gets live feeded out because they're going to have that weird old racist energy <laughs> i just that's that's what i see happening um uh, other than that again that's just a prediction i i hope that doesn't happen i like him uh, right. I played with an undercover cop on my season, and she was my number one ally. And I had no idea that she was a cop whatsoever. But the comparison between LT and this dude is night and day, literally. So <laughs> it's just LT was so dope. Um, that guy, he's a cop. She's All right, very we're gonna... fashionable. I would have believed her too. Let's go with Tucker. Yeah, oh, I, I couldn't believe it. Let's see what Tucker has to say. Everybody. I think this guy's going to do well meals for people yeah. that might he's a handsome vampire i think the girls are gonna love him the guys are gonna love him everyone's love gonna him. love him yeah i love this guy he's going, deep. he's going deep i know y'all don't have uh this is the last one that i saw because i didn't get to see the other ones but i'll tell you something really interesting about him that makes me like him and i usually don't like these type of guys um i like him as no, friends but not in the big brother house so his father recently came out as gay and so he says that he's been um, he's been bullied 
but he's also been a bully, which I thought was very interesting. And uh, he's a theater geek, but also a jock. And I think like he's very fascinating. It's like very, yeah, it's like very yin and yang. So I feel like maybe he does, he, if he finds it to like be able to balance those things out, he says that he'll plant seeds um, and that he can be like a bread. He actually compared himself to Brett from Big Brother 20. That if no. it needed to be, that he would, like, he'll try to be calm and he's, he, he'll probably defuse the situation, but he can get, like, a Brett, which I thought mm. was very what? interesting, what? but he said he was going to try to tone that down. This I mean, maybe Brett like, from the circle. Like an Italian, like, he's like, he's a, he's a little, I like the guys. youngest of a, the youngest kid of an Italian family. You know Bruno. He's, he's, he's a Italian. Like he's, he's, he's a stud. He's an Italian he's family. Bro, he's, he's an athlete. Know. He's uh, got personality. He's uh, this he's a, guy is a he's full Bruno, package. Two point This guy's handsome, Bruno. He's a handsome. Yeah. <laughs> what, what do you he's mean, Kiefer? No, he. He is going to give somebody a peanut butter sandwich who is allergic <laughs> to peanuts. He. Is I would do, do that. It. I would actually do that. Yeah, that is a true Bruno, story. Yeah, that is yeah, a true story. I would do that. Yes, you say that. No, and I actually he would do that. Considers himself, which I thought was an interesting choice. You know, when they say the type of person you are, mm. what do you consider yourself? He said empathetic. I thought that was very interesting. That's me too. No, I think this guy's a <laughs> That's you too. What? I do want to Anyone who says they're empathetic is not, is not, is, is a narcissist, is a narcissist and into themselves. I'm going on record. I thought that was interesting. No. Goose. Anyone who says they're empathetic, no. Goose, what do you think of this guy? I mean, there's other people I'm definitely rooting for more, but as a player, I think this guy has a lot of things that, like, really help in this house. And, uh, good point about the empathetic thing. Now that you mentioned, Dennis, that makes me have some red flags. That being said, uh, <laughs> so, uh, this guy you can tell he's got that killer instinct yeah. and i feel like too uh the fact he mentions mentions bread is interesting and he kind of seems like the more like the guy in the alliance who's not at the front of the alliance but is still there and doing a lot yeah. but i feel like he has yeah. nothing to like rise to the occasion and not just be like the the memphis or the cody or the enzo you know i feel like you could mm -hmm. actually like pull off the w so i think this guy's got a lot of potential I think this guy has the, the full, like, everything in the bag you need. Like, the bag of tricks is full with this guy. I, like, he, like you say, even if he's in an alliance, I don't think he's at the bottom, the top. I think even if his, like, say there's two alliances going head-to-head, -head, I could see this guy being cool with both of them and just being an asset to both alliances. I think this guy is going to be in, uh, in, in very intertwined well with the season. I mean, this is what we're seeing with just his personality. I have no idea what he's like when yeah. he's in there. Maybe he can't sleep in there. Maybe he has a hard time in there. Maybe he just can't handle the pressure. I don't know. But from what yeah. I see, I, I think this guy, I mean, there's a lot going on in his head. Maybe good, maybe bad. But, uh, you know, I, I like him. I, to me, he has all the tools, man. This is, this is, this is what happens. Guy. What happens when he goes on slop? When a professional chef yeah. has to eat some fucking slop and take cold ass showers gonna, oh people are gonna love him he's gonna he's make, gonna make the slop recipes out of that slop like, plus recipes i want to eat his slop that sounds weird but i would i was a very good i was i was a really good slop cook on okay Kiefer, it's not about you no but tell me more about your recipe best. tell me more i made macaroons out of slop did you do that's that pretty good that's pretty good did you, you want, could use coconut I definitely oh. want to hear more, but I want to watch the rest of this guy's video. And mushy and chewy in the middle is perfect. After I know you guys got to go, so I want—I do want to watch this video after, but uh, let's move on. Uh, Tucker is someone I really want to get to uh, to, to see that video because I, I like him. He's my – what the – this is Lisa? I will win Big Brother. <laughs> Hold on. No. Hold on. Let's see, Lisa. I didn't expect that. I'm sorry. It was just – it was like – I I I'm now. sorry. I, didn't, I don't mean to be. I'm going to so get. Just by being your friend, no, I'm going to get canceled. I, I don't know. I didn't, it just, I'm sorry. I didn't expect. Brother, because I am the best and I hear and know everything as I do in my business interview. and apply that to the intricate, intricate framework oh. of. You guys good? Brother. OMG, I'm on Big Brother. I am so excited to be here and I'm ready to play. This is so.
Yeah, I'm done. Okay. We know the character she is. We yep. know. We know. Winner right wow, here. Winner that's pick. Just so wrong. What about what? What about the people who are watching your stream that really like her that want to see more? This You're right. is a travesty. You're right. You know she what? Said, who wants? We could do a poll right now. No, I don't. I don't, I really don't want to see quirky characters. It's there's usually a female, a quirky female she, character. She's one of them, and she'll do well mm -hmm. until she blows up. That's first boot. Really no. Oh, first boot. No. We got I, there's just so we got many of them. No, there's so now many we're getting Rockstar 2.0. First boot. Rocks? No. Rocks? No. Oh, that's Kiefer, I'm like, telling her you said right that, there. by the way. I'm yeah. telling her you said that. Um, first boot. It's 2.0. Oh, not the same, but different. Nope. We got nope. a guy comparing you himself to Brett. The exact same compare, person through and through. Okay, buddy. You got who? Let's okay, you guys want to watch this? You, when she Let's fucked go. up on the stream. Yes. No, no, I actually. Yes. Watch we want to watch How this. Will I make my mark in the Big Brother house. Well, there's a few marks to make. Part of the strategy, though, it goes without saying. I'm Let's a keep chef, watching. right? So the key to anyone's heart is good food. Hello, enter the chat, Lisa. Good Let's food. Let's keep watching because I'm learning right? so, so much part right of my now. My strategy is to cook find ways to connect with new people you know just you tell me when you're done conversations with them i've seen and more of than course, that. serve them up maybe some avocado toast. i'm done and but what, it, wait, what happens when she, house, when she gets into the house what happens when she gets into the house and she finds out that there's a chef the there her world will crumble i want to know more about this avocado toast that was the most important that was the most interesting thing she said that <laughs> entire video how about avocado toast yeah i want to know more about it okay goose let's hear it just made a really good observation. Uh, just said, uh, "Oh, it's like she's doing a job interview." And I was like, "Oh my gosh, you're right." And I'm curious if she's gonna like kind of have that same energy in conversations, especially with yeah. strategic. Yeah. Uh. Like, oh, she's disingenuous, you know. And if that's yeah. the case, I think she'd be in hot water. That being said, well, clearly she has this kind of serious business aspect of her. You can tell she's got kind of a cool, quirky, fun personality, and I think that might kind of soften that aspect of her. I think it's very. Kind of, I'm getting like hot and cold vibes where it's like it's really just gonna depend on how the cast reacts. Uh yeah, I don't I don't think the win equity is high as some others, but I don't also I also don't see her as like first boot. Like I mean it yeah. could happen, yeah. but it's not like it doesn't seem super clear to me that yeah. that's the case. I don't think she has a lot of agency. Uh she knows to do her own thing, but she doesn't have agency in the game. It hasn't even started. She'll be she's a go, she'll be pulled along. Um I don't think she'll have agency in the game, but I like her. I like her. Listen, pers on a personal level, she's great. She seems positive. She's bubbly. She seems like a nice person. This is we have one, we already have one zero. We now have two zeros. This is my second oh! zero. Second zero. Wow. You, already, you had like three or four. Then zeros. we have then she's zero number four. She's a zero. I see nothing in this. Nothing. I feel my opinion. My opinion. People aren't gonna want to talk to her. That's my opinion. People aren't gonna want to talk to her. They're going to be like, I can't talk, talk to her. I'll talk to her. I'll talk to her. Okay, you'd talk to her. Sure. Is everybody in this? It doesn't matter if you'd talk to her. I'd talk to her. We're talking about there's 15 people that, that matter right now. Not you, me, Goose, Kiefer. It's, there's 15 people that matter to her right now. And would any of them talk I, to her? I've, no. I'm telling you, she's going to get along with the cop. She's going to get along with yeah, the cop. Yeah, but the cop. cop's going right behind her. So, you know, one and two. It's okay. This is Here's the I thing. Think the gal with the sweater, I think they'd vibe. Oh yeah. Oh. Okay. First boot. One I'm calling it right one. now. Yeah. First. And first boot. Pink. No, not first boot. Listen to this. One of the guys first boot is double eviction. Listen to this. Listen to this. The key to anyone's heart is through their stomach, and if I'm okay. cooking for them, ugh, they're gonna be in love. Yep, first boot. I'm locking it in. I said I saw enough. <laughs> Jess, what are your thoughts about first boot? I mean, uh, God, her whole I personality is food. First boot for her. Really? The guitar player, <laughs> uh, leader guy, whatever, <laughs> camp leader. It, I don't know what you guys are seeing, man. I I see I like first boot. I don't know about that, Dennis. I don't no. know about that. I see yeah, like, uh, like I'm trying I'm like I'm hottie. actually trying to say it the nicest way I can. First boot. Like <laughs> I'll ask you this. I'll ask you this. Have we seen anyone like aggro alpha so far? Anyone? No. Um, uh, yeah, maybe. The guy like with Tucker. 
Fucker Cam. Alpha? I didn't get Alpha from him. Oh, I don't no. see anyone out. I feel like the everyone is quirky and and just playing Loki. I don't see anyone like taking control, like a Heisen, like delusional and and, and <laughs> wanting to be up. I don't see anyone like that so far. We haven't seen them all yet. I don't know. I just <laughs> I don't see maybe not first boot, but like. I just don't see her doing well. I just see, I don't see people connecting. Maybe Kenny. With her. I, I I I get I get alpha vibes from Kenny, which is why I think he would be close to being a first boot. Uh, yeah, she's just talking about how she's she excited. Just said cool. She said she was gonna manipulate. She just said Who? she was gonna manipulate right now. Okay. Okay. You think she's, okay. You think she's gonna manipulate? Let's let's hear her talk. Let's hear her manipulate. Let's see her. Let's see how she. The competition by being myself. I think I'm a natural. Yeah. I'm manipulated already. Okay. So. Uh, what are her thoughts on uh, Leah? I'm super many bucks. Her, her and Cam, showman's. Cam. Oh. Who's Cam? Bucks. Cam. He's the Jared. Jared. The Jared. 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 Oh, got it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is is total showman's. Like all the way out. Total showman's. I'm calling that. I'm calling that right now. Okay. Calling it. Hook, line, and sinker. The season's about to be a stinker. Clip it, chat. <laughs> there's, uh, there's, uh, there's I'm a few first boot content contenders right now. A, no, fir- no, a, a few manipulating me. Be, there's no way someone's putting her up first. I'm what? sorry, they're just not. You there's don't no think way. so? No. Nobody knows. Absolutely no, not. She's no, no, zero no. percent chance. Yeah, no she's chance. Gonna she's gonna, she's gonna gain out. She's gonna be like, oh, I want to team up with you, and then they'll team up and be like, hey, you can't put her up. What are you doing? It's gonna be a house <laughs> consensus. We got, I, uh, we got, we got three more. So, uh, Goose, let's hear what you got to say. Real quick, um, I think if she does end up getting in a showman, especially early, I think in that scenario she could be a first boot. If, I, but she's, if she it won't happen early. Early, I think that could happen. Okay, here's the thing, guys. A lot of times in these casts, you guys know this. First boot is someone that you get rid of them. There's no blood on your hands. It's just like whatever. She's gone. There was no connections, or he's gone. To me, she's very, I mean, I don't know her. She seems very, not passive, but like quiet. If someone put her up, she'd be like, it's okay, I understand. And, and she wouldn't put up a stink and she'd go home and it's done. It's a, it's, to me, this is an, an easy first week boot without any blood. Someone's out of the house. You're not, there's no backlash. But, but, uh, it is a little bit of a stretch. But I could see it. Anyway, um, forgettable, uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, Leah, Leah. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we got oh, yeah. Leah. Leah. Uh, Dennis, thoughts on Leah? Jess, thoughts on Leah? Uh, Dennis, what's your thoughts? Uh, she's going to be in a showman, so I'm sorry uh, to say that. But that's all I get from her. Jess? Jess's pick right here. Uh, oh, yeah. She's my, she's my top pick. She reminds me of the BB Can girl that was with Ty. Oh, Claudia. Claudia. She gives me Claudia vibes. Oh, Claudia. Yeah. Jess. This is Claudia. Yeah, she gives me Claudia vibes. Okay. I mean, maybe. I, don't, I already forgot. She gives Claudia. me Claudia vibes. Who knows? I mean, maybe she's just trying to be polite. I don't know. She seems too sweet. I, to me, there's no hunger she in there. I don't see any, like. Sweet. It's, I, get, I get the Claudia vibes. I get the Claudia vibes. But yo, she's trying to help VIP, you out. Or she's like, shit, someone throw she's her. She's a VIP cocktail server. That She is not giving me cocktail server. Mm-hmm. She's like, so cocktail servers have a little bit more, like to be a cocktail server, you got to serve your sales, your sales serve a lot of cocktails. Mm-hmm. Huh? What are those girls? Cocktails. That- I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, she's, that's, she's a yeah, that's what she does. With the sparklers and Sorry, the, I've, been, and the I've been to some parties where the girls are just sort of standing there, <laughs> not knowing what's happening. So that's if her. that's the vibe, then yeah, she has that vibe. She's the. Uh, she's I mean, she's she's the she's what? It, how old is she? She's twenty six. She's she's 26. Um, from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Currently living in Miami, she's a cocktail server in Miami. Come on, y'all. She's got more. Got she's, she's got more flavor than this. I don't. More. I'm not buying this video. So okay, no, Kiefer, you got three more. You got three more. We'll, we'll burn them. We'll burn them. Three. Burn we'll burn them. Takes two minutes. Angela. Oh, this is my winner pick right here. Who is this? Angela. Angela. Ooh. Ten and a half minutes. Angela, you get three. 
morals and decency are out the window. See, I like her. I'm here okay. to win the money. This is what I've been waiting for. We've gone through okay. like 110 contestants, and we finally yeah. get someone that says, hey, listen, I don't care about your feelings. Fuck your feelings. I yeah. like that. That's what I want to hear. It's been very, it's been very lovey-dovey. Yeah. She is 50 years old. She is 50 years old, and she's a real estate agent, so we know. Cutthroat. She's cutthroat. Yeah, she's cutthroat. This is what I've been waiting for. Like this is like literally the last five or six people. I'm just like next. I don't even want. I don't even care what they have to say. This is she's what I've been gonna for. be. She's gonna be the one who's gonna be manipulating uh, Jared 2.0, and uh, and is gonna be Matt's uh, Matt's mom in the house. So I feel like she might have like a good in, like, and and she's gonna. And then there's people like the cop and the other yep. people that want to. That want to be with older people like i feel like she's very cushioned on all so sides he and the tarot one brooklyn yeah i yeah. think they're gonna put heads though i think they're gonna have mm. differences of opinion i could see that i, I could see that right by for the attention or the 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 the, the people the, that they the want dominant role wanting. or whatever yeah. i think they're alpha have... i i see it there's a lot of alpha women up in here like she's an alpha and then the other yeah i i see them i see them butting heads as well i legit like her though i like just even the way she talks she's like I don't, I don't care about your feelings this and that i'm gonna manipulate i don't care that's what i've been waiting for like that's the player i like that's the player that i that i want to see play will she do it I, I don't know but like at least she has that mindset she's like i don't care i'm gonna go in there she's you know i don't want to say older but she's an older lady where she doesn't give a fuck about what these like she doesn't give a fuck. She's not there for this or that. She's there to fucking win, man. Uh, I like that. She doesn't care about your feelings. Get get out of here. Don't care. Uh, I like that. So everything she said so far, I'm not gonna watch all ten minutes of it, but everything she said so far, uh, to me, is on the right path. So uh, I, this is this honestly, this is like my sleeper pick. This is the one where I think it's like, can she win? I, I don't know, but I, I want to see. I think she has potential. I think if if the, if the cards fall right, obviously. I, I see a lot of potential with her personally. Um, let's go with uh, Goose. What do you think? Yeah, I, I agree. She seems like she has a lot of potential, and this is a good cast for her. Uh, the point was brought up, I think Dennis said or something about like uh, her and Brooklyn butting heads. Mm -hmm. I could see her and Brooklyn getting an alliance and having like a really firm grasp over a couple weeks, and then they just keep butting heads, and then it combusts, and then maybe she ends up like going out of jury as a result. But uh, I think this definitely is a good cast for her. And I think she definitely has what it takes to make a deep run. Yeah, I agree. Like like Jess said too, there's the the guy that wants to to, to connect with the older crowd. Kenny and her, I think, are just immediately going to connect with the older people. That's usually what happens. Uh, stuff like that. Kiefer, what what are your thoughts on our friend here, uh, Angela? She's giving me vibes from the second best player on BB Can Five, uh, Karen. Um, you know, she's just going to outwit, okay. outlast, and outplay her whole 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 cast. Just as Karen did on BB Can Five, just totally put on a masterclass of Big Brother and just decimate the younger guys and the younger crew and and the returnees, if you will, and just deal with every twist that comes up and handle it with grace and just coast her way to an easy fifty thousand dollars or is it eighty thousand dollars now for second place? Nine hundred and fifty. Oh, eighty. Oh, second place. Got it. Second place. Yeah. So yeah, Karen vibes. Loving it. Real estate agent, older, saying a lot of positive things that are happening here. Am I crazy? Am I crazy? I think. I don't know. Doesn't, is it your winner pick? No, my winner pick. No, 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 no. This is one of my favorite cast. Not my winner pick. I, I can't see no, her winning. Yeah, yeah. But I like her. I mean, yeah. Karen was my second favorite player on uh, EB Can. Your taste is a little interesting, but that's okay. We don't. We don't judge. You know, we don't judge. <laughs> uh jess uh karen 2.0 baby <laughs> i see it she's an alpha i mean i i don't think she's gonna i honestly don't think she's gonna like target the men i don't see her as being like yeah i don't see her as being a jessica milagros but you know mm. i think she would make a big move i think she'll be i i think she would do it if like she doesn't look like she has the fear of god in her you know what i mean like she's like nah yeah she's here I'm to wreck souls jess would you target me if i was yeah. on your season absolutely yeah that's a compliment one thousand percent yeah. i agree with you i think you would one, two, first two. no she's rubbing the way 
I, I, I kind of agree. I feel oh my like god, are you guys? Am I? In? I, I yeah, no, I'm getting first boot vibes. Guys, chat. They're just they're hungry. They're tired. Don't listen to them, okay? They're just they're hungry. <laughs> guys, they said first boot. <laughs> this is your winner. This is your winner. Okay, now let me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you something. My take on her. You see how cool she is? She's chill. She's calm. All the other girls are all like, you know, the boss ladies, right, Jess? They're all, you know, uh, she's just chill. She's like, she's one of the boys. She is one of the boys. That's how I see her. She's one of the boys. Listen, I've been in construction 20 years of my life. I know what it's like to be on the construction sites all the time. She is a construction, like, something, right? Like a contract manager or something like that, right? Yeah, manager. Okay. So in her world, in the construction world, it's a 99.9% male-dominated world. She's in there as a manager. She's got to learn how to deal with guys all day, every day. She hangs out with guys all day, every day. That's what it is. She's probably the only girl in her industry. So she's surrounded by guys all day, you know, like construction type guys. They can be, you know, whatever. And like I said she won't get along with the girls. She won't. And there will be first boot because of she that. won't get along with the girls. I could see that. I still see her being so insulated. No. I can see her being so insulated. Showmance, whatever it is. I think she's going to do so. Listen to the way she just listen to her talk for a little bit. She's so chill and calm where all the other girls are all like, eh, you know, she's all like, watch, listen to her, listen to her talk, man. She's chill. I could say that I'd be the one to watch this summer because I like how I look and I hope other people do too. She's just chill. Not Wait, what did she just say? Wait, I don't know what she just said. I, I, I don't know what she just yeah, said. Yeah, okay. I couldn't hear. Buddy. My ear, my my volume just went to zero. I don't know what she said. Bro, I want to say that this is priceless, that Bruno was expecting her to say something so profound and strategic. <laughs> and and she just like, because I look good. Why did she and... say that? Why did she have to say that? I st I'm sticking to it. She's I'll tell you something. First. Go ahead, let's hear it, Goose. Let's hear it. She's very funny. I think she's entertaining. I hope she stays. I like she's that she's very like quality over quantity. She's not just like going on for 50 years in circles. Yeah. That being said, uh, yeah, I think she's probably toast with this cast. Unfortunately, I could see her going early. Um, that being said, I feel like if she's targeted, yeah, toast. But if somehow instead she ends up being a pawn or a pawn star, she seems like someone who'd be very unbothered and would just cope with it really well. So if somehow, if she's targeted, I think she's toast. I think she's probably toast overall. But if she finds herself in a pawn situation, I think she'd handle that really well. I see her going so deep. I see her going so deep, man. I just see her like, she's probably not playing the game. Like she's not like, you know, making the big moves. <laughs> But I don't see people targeting her. I think the guys are gonna love her. I think people are gonna. I think people are gonna love her. I think people are gonna love her. Okay, uh, Kiefer, did, did I hear Jess's thoughts? Dennis' thoughts? Kiefer, what's your thoughts? We got one more after this. I want to make sure you guys get in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she just did. Yeah. Just, oh my god, I not, love. I just, you know, just can't. I'm just trying to. Kiefer. My finger. I'm just, yeah, just um. <laughs> Am I? It's good. It, it, it's just, you know, Bruno, I just, uh, oh it's a no for God. me, Bruno. Like, yo, if she goes far, okay. If she goes far, you're getting the gauntlet this year. <laughs> I was young. That Thanos hand. Um, no, I, 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 I can Bruno, see first. I think, I think you're going through a blood crisis, and, and that's why your 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 vision is a little colored here. I think you're going through a blood totally. I th Yo, your right. age is showing, Bruno. You she's that go that she's that Ferrari. That's that she's that shiny Ferrari that you want to buy. No, no. Here's the thing. That's like, like is, here's the thing. Happens. She is. She's a, she's a pretty girl, but like that's not what it's about. <laughs> I see deeper. I see. I see her person. I mean, I don't want to say personality because <laughs> it's, it's a little dull. You but see deeper. Yeah. I I know it. that I world. I see, I see that. I see that. I know the world. I know I the construction world. I, I know how point. construction guys think and deal and talk. I but know. Guys, yes, she's not going to get along with the girls, and the uh, girls will influence the other guys. I think the other I girls. It's a have whale's whale. Yeah, it's I don't see it. I, I see. I, I see her so well but insulated. I think she's going to do well. Is she going to work She's with in a world, in Angela? another season, Angela's maybe? 50-year-old real estate Karen. Mm. You think she's going to work with, with uh, Angela? Angela's got to go, then. Whoever doesn't want to work with her has got to go. Angela's got to go. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I, I got to say, like, the I, I like her. But I don't, I, I don't mean it like, I, like. I predict that she will stay long because she will have a Jackson-like um, relationship mm. where her dude, like Tucker, is going to win first oh. HOH. They're going to get it on in, like, the HOH first week, and then she's going to win second week, and then he'll win third week, or someone from their alliance will win third week, and what, so what, on and so forth. That's the only way I I would you said Tucker? Is that the cop? No, no that's the... the uh... No, Tucker is an Italian boy. Okay. Right? I think she would get along with the cop. Yeah. I think she would get along with the cop. I just oh. see her. Okay, hear, okay, hear me out. Just, just hear me out. If you're in that house, are you gonna target uh, what's her name, Mackenzie, or are you gonna target I don't know Tucker or uh, I don't know the other girl there that you said that you like there, whatever her name is, the one the uh, the one there that has like Brooklyn or whatever. Yeah, like who are you gonna target in this house? Like you know what I mean? Like are you gonna go for her or are you gonna try to mustache. get out Tucker? Or are you gonna I'm try taking to... out the guy with the mustache the or Mustachio? You know what I mean? So. Like the the way I see it is, there's so many targets in front of her, regardless of everything. Plus, she's gonna be insulated. You know, I just I see her in a good. Well, she's position. not. I just don't see. She's not part of the majority. Have you seen this cast? Like the, this cast is not is not a sorority fraternity type of cast. It's just, it's such a diverse group of people that there are maybe two or three people that she. I see her as being one of the outcasts, to be quite honest. I, I don't see her as being very relatable to the people that are in this house. I could be wrong. Definitely a different cast. It's definitely wrong. a different cast. It's a complete she's, she's opposite of, her of like your yeah. cast, Jess. I see yeah, her doing her so looks. well. I don't know. I I literally see her doing so so well. I, I I don't know. I don't know. I don't I don't see it any other way. Like I in my mind, I've already played this season through and she's there and i'm done buttering them up being a real sweetheart um, okay all right we got the gist of this guy he's played the whole season in his head he, he already knows how he's gonna treat everybody okay uh thoughts on quinn goose go for it i think quinn's in trouble uh dennis when it was going i mentioned uh quinn seems too cerebral i think yeah with this this cast seems more like the kind of like let's talk about vibes and life whereas i feel like quinn's yeah. more concrete things like uh like less philosophical like it was interesting quinn mentioned about like oh emotions like to use that but it's like i feel like quinn's more of a logical player and I, not that there aren't logical players on this cast but i'm thinking more of kind of like a vibes cast i feel like quinn and joseph kind of remind me of the similar types but i feel like joseph will be able to like go under the radar better and so uh yeah i think quinn's in trouble but uh, i mean I, I get some good vibes from quinn quinn seems to have some decent ideas about the game and whatnot but yeah i think quinn's in trouble with this cast uh, Dennis. Uh, yeah, I second that. We were discussing. I said uh, Quinn is too cerebral. Uh, there's nothing adaptable here. I think with this person, um, they're gonna try be Zane. Uh, you're trying to redefine things that don't need to be redefined. And what's the dove and the frog? <laughs> Why did you throw that out there and not explain that? I think I think they're overthinking their gameplay. Mm -hmm. Just. Yeah, no. Um, yeah, I, I, I agree. I don't know what to say about him. Um, he, he's going to be a potential flop. And I think that it's because exactly of what, um, of what Goose and Dennis said, that this is a cast that has always, has now talked about, you know, really getting to know the person and have genuine and form genuine relationships. And this one is definitely talking about just being crazy. And like, I I don't see unless somewhere around here, he says something about connecting. Um, people are going to see straight through it. And they're going to be like, this dude is not, we're going to have to get rid of him. And plus, there are specific people in this cast that are looking for super players, like super fans to to get rid of so don't forget that matt's like the one who's looking out for for super fans there's art there's somebody else who's looking for super fans like i i you know even joseph will probably look at him and be like nah dude you need to go i i clocked you like i'm the only one who's going to be manipulating people so i feel like there's going to be a lot of people 
who are not going to dig his vibe. They're going to look at the guy's oh, boxes and just be like, send them out, poor guy. Mm -hmm. um <laughs> yeah i i think i think quinn's quinn's in trouble um and you know what's funny is he's given me gavin jacob vibes at the beginning of the season because kevin said a lot of this stuff as well and yeah. we i didn't believe him for a fucking second i thought he was gonna i thought he should have been first boot 100%. in the first week of his well, season so he has the potential to change it around and really surprise us with strategic gameplay. But I think Kevin Jacobs is just a one of one. Um, and it's going to be really tough to compare anyone to him because he's an absolute psychopath. Um, so if <laughs> Quinn can go in there and just really turn it on and be a psychopath the entirety, 24 hours a day, and just like really play, play Big Brother, it's going to be okay. But I just don't see Quinn playing Big Brother 24 hours a day. Yeah, I just I see I just see Quinn having a hard time connecting with the other people. I just I don't see him fitting. I yeah. just I just see that I see I see him like wanting to genuinely connect with people and like have these conversations maybe, and people just be like, yeah, no, I don't want to have this conversation or whatever. I don't know. I just I don't see him connecting. Uh, seems like a really nice guy, beautiful smile, love it. Uh, I, I just I think he's like you could tell he's just like a very genuinely nice person, a good person. Uh, but uh, yeah, no, I don't see it. I don't see anything in this. I, I don't I don't think he's the Kevin Jacobs. I don't think he's. I think he's going to be more of like what Zero wants to be. This guy wants to be at two. I think he's a better version of Zero. He's like one, Z zero, zero, he's one, but he's still a zero. You know, he's just a one because Zero already took zero. I, I don't uh, I don't see this guy. I don't see this guy doing anything, man. I don't I don't see him doing anything, unfortunately, but uh, yeah, it's 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 unfortunate. I, I like him. I like him. I, I hope there's something there, but I don't know. All right, I want to hear. So that is all of them. That is all of them. I want to hear everyone's winner pick. You get one winner pick. And I'm going to start in my screen. It goes Goose is right above me. Dennis is beside, then Jess, then Keith. So let's go with Goose first. Goose, winner pick. Let's hear it. Flip. Uh, it's not who I'm rooting for the most, but I think Tucker. Tucker, that's a good pick. That's a good pick. Dennis. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, I, I have to say Tucker as well. If not Tucker, I want Brooklyn. Uh, mm. the, the Terra uh 2.0 i i want her um yeah. tara got Kiefer out right i just want to oh yeah sorry <laughs> i just want to make sure i just want i'm trying to remember i, I uh, okay uh jess um <laughs> and i'm voting for brooklyn too now. Oh, this uh is, jess this is hard this is hard y'all um uh i still don't know but uh just to be different i'm gonna go with matt Matt, fuck, who's yeah. Matt? Oh, uh, that's who I was gonna go with. <laughs> the mama's boy. Oh, okay, okay, okay. The mama's boy, Matt. That's who you're going, Keith. What are you going with? Uh, well, I was gonna go with Matt, but for his sake to be different, I'll go. I'll just follow my heart. I'm just gonna follow my friggin' heart, man. My heart is saying, no. the young gun, Cedric. What happened to Keith? My dog, my boy, oh. Kimo. Kimo. Oh, he's gonna win America's favorite player. <laughs> you know what? I'm he's not gonna, gonna lie. I already forgot Brooke, about Brooke Cedric. Take him out. I already forgot about Cedric. I like Cedric. Fuck. I, you know what? I now that I like Cedric. I think Matt's gonna win. I like the Matt pick. I also like the Tucker pick as well. But just for sake, of I like Tucker. I do like Tucker a lot. Tucker is uh, actually my favorite. But yeah, I pick Mackenzie. I'm going. Uh, I'm going. I pick McKenzie. Really? Why are you stubborn? Why are you stubborn? That's Guys, crazy. I see You're potential. Stubborn. I see and potential. I like did you watch the mole? I did. And doesn't she remind you of Hannah? No. No? Okay. She reminds you of Hannah? Non conceitedly, yep. I would also say. No, that I don't that see Hannah. I think I'm a good person yeah. to watch because. Do you see Hannah? I don't see Hannah. I don't know. But I like how yeah. they are. I got, I got okay. Kiefer, bye. We love you. Bye, Thanks dude. for doing it, Kiefer. Love you we guys. Love you. See you later, bud. Love yeah. Okay, so uh, here's the I thing. Like I, that, I feel like that they've split. There are a uh, mix of women and men. I like that. Yeah, I like. like uh, so you. You both picked Tuck Tucker. I actually like Tucker. I think Tucker's a really, really, really good pick. Uh, he's he's probably my favorite of on the show. I'd say Tucker's my number one. I like Cedric. I like Tucker. I like uh, Mackenzie. 
I like, uh, dude, I like a lot. Actually, to be honest with you, I like a lot of this cast. I like the lady, the I can't remember her name, the the real estate lady, the Karen. Uh, you know, I, I like a lot of them. The the stereotypes that we usually have. Yeah. The nerd, the the jocks, like they're it's a very diverse, very good mix. I will say it feels like a lot of vibes. Mm. Yeah. And not necessarily strategy. Yeah, that's what I worry about. Yeah. It's it's a lot of feel good, let's hang out, which drove me up the wall in my own city. <laughs> oh, trust. <laughs> trust me, it uh trust me, I, I feel you on that. I, I, I'm excited to see how it plays out. I mean, I think there's a lot of potential here. I think again, yeah. I, I feel like Mackenzie, I don't I think you guys are sleeping on her. I think you're sleeping on her. I'm telling you coming from that world and maybe i'm biased because i come from that world i know what it's like to be in in, in construction and she's like i'm like she's up there she's like a high ranking oh, she works with the guys and if you saw my season the girls hated that lexus was working with the guys and they targeted her yeah That's i think it's gonna happen i think with your season things were a little different though there was like two players and i, I think it was a little different i think it was sure, sure. but whenever there's a girl a guy's girl the girls will go after that girl. Yeah, but what if all the girls are gone first? Then what girls are going to go after her? You know what I mean? Like, you got to look at it both ways. If she's working with the guys and the girls don't like her, who is she going to target, right? Like, there's, there's, it's it's easy to look at it one way, but you got to look at it the other way as well, where it's like if they don't like her, well, if she's dealing with, you know, all these, like, let's just pretend strong, you know, competitors – Okay, the girls can hate her all she all they want. If they can't target her, well, what the hell are they going to do about it? You know, you can hate her all you want. And uh, if her side's winning, well, then too bad. They're going to get knocked out. So I, I just see so much potential. I just see so much potential in her. Uh, just because, uh, yes, she's pretty. It's not what I'm talking about, though. It's not what I'm, what I'm focusing on. I'm focusing on just her vibe. It's very chill. It's very like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to hang out with the boys. I think they're going to love her. I think they're going to insulate around her. I think they're going to protect her. So I just see I, – I see – I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm losing it, but I, I see potential there. Jess loves her, by the way. <laughs> I don't not love her. I um I really love her hair. It's really cute. Admit that she she's gonna really rub hair. people the wrong way. Oh, a hundred percent. I think she's gonna rub people the long, wrong way, but I also think that she has the tools to to work to make things work in this house. I see it. I, I see the potential. I just see she's so chill. All the other girls aren't like that. She's very different than the other girls, um, which I think I think the guys are going to gravitate towards her. I just, I really do. Like, there was, like, uh, Takor. That was the, the, um, the quilting uh, the quilting owner. Uh, there was um, Brooklyn. There was the Karen lady. Uh, there was uh, the – didn't lie yeah. which one lisa uh, one lisa the pink lisa. one but who's lisa you said she was a zero she, i would never say that about anybody did i <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i think you one. gave her a negative zero that makes sense that makes sense um i don't know i just i i don't know we'll have to see we'll have we'll have to see i don't know i, we'll have to I, see. Have, I, I feel like this is the most diverse cast thus far uh it almost feels like a, a big brother canada cast mm. if i might be so bold in saying that with age with cultural backgrounds uh and personality types very diverse. I, I i feel this this is going to be something new there's going to be new energy here yeah, so like what's the cast what's well, sorry what's that goose the thing i like this cast or anything i'm worried about is i'm thinking it's kind of too much towards the vibe spectrum yeah. when it's a bit more towards like the i guess you could say like a logic strategy spectrum but i mean you do need vibes too but i'm almost worried there's yeah. like too much i feel like that but that's i feel that's... like it was very vibey on my end like on my season it was very vibey and they all went nuts like <laughs> i think that when you like have a vibey cast it becomes sort of chaotic like the season before you i feel like the season like i don't know it's you know what I mean? When it's not very strategic, but everybody's running off vibes and everybody likes each other. But you, we all know that like Big Brother always finds a way to kill the vibe. Like, oh, we're all like kumbaya. Everybody's cool together. We all click, blah, blah, blah. And then K 
you know, claws come out after the first, you know, after someone wins the first situation, you got to put someone on the block. It's like, I, I, it's a very, I mean, I really enjoy the, the cast. Cause I like the fact that everybody's like, I, everybody's going to love me because I'm me. And everybody's going to love me because I'm a people person. Like, literally everybody on this cast said exactly almost the same thing. Their strategy is that they're good social players. And what's going to get them to the end is because they're, they're they. They're them or whatever. See, and for like, me, it's, there's no... going to be a shit show. For a long time, I feel like Big Brother hasn't been about strategy. Like, when was the last time you had a good strategic season? It just doesn't really happen anymore. It's always been about just... I don't know. I just feel like there's no strategy anymore. That's, like, that's been gone for a long time. There used to be game players. These big game players come in and, do, and let them do their thing. I don't see it anymore. I just don't... I don't see that. So, I don't know. A lot of these players either seem lost or they want to be that person that they're not, like, zero there. I just feel like people they 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 want to talk about the part they want to be the part but they're not going to be the part when they get in there like I I'm like convinced that guy is not doing anything that he said he was gonna do I'm convinced you could tell just by his body language he's just like the other cast have been said he didn't say in he's going with a plan he didn't cop his way or quin his way I'm I'm telling you you're wrong about Joseph mark my word I I will I would love to wager on Joseph I feel like he's either gonna be non-existent he's gonna be the diary room warrior everyone everyone here this is the last thing everyone here I'm gonna take control who's gonna leave first Mackenzie or Joseph Mackenzie oh Mackenzie Joseph (laughs) Mackenzie Joseph, hearing it now, Bruno. hands it down, now, Bruno. Joseph. That guy, oh my god, that guy's gonna walk himself out the door. That guy's gone. I can't. Wait for you. you are next. You are next. <laughs> I can't wait for you to eat your words. That guy's Man, so you. bad. I can't wait. I I can't wait for the season to start, and you guys are gonna look back and be like, "Oh my god, this guy. What were we thinking?" Can't wait. Can't wait. <laughs> Jess, you think Joseph's gonna be good? I don't even know. What- I I think question. he has a potential to be so that good. Means I no. think Jess that... is really nice. I know what that no, means. No, no. I think like I think like Kevin Jacobs, he can either be first boot or but if he gets put if he gets put in that first boot position, I feel like he has a lot of shit up his sleeve that would turn that would turn it to the other person. I don't know. I, I feel like maybe I think he he has something. I'm not quite sure what it is, but come on, he's a he's a poker player. He's you know th- this guy has you know he uh, could be a I'll Kevin Martin this. for all you know. He's a video store clerk. Don't know how that's still going on in today's age. Oh, he. But you need to know, you need to work with people and you need to know what their likes are so you can recommend movies. He, he'll do it. Well, I got. People. He can recommend movies, but apparently the only the here. only video clerk's uh, place there is a porn shop. Apparently, so it's a it's a porn <laughs> video clerk. Uh, I mean, he can recommend you know whatever he wants, man. Debbie does Dallas, great movie. One, two, three, then phenomenal. Uh, there's a lot of them out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, you know, Bruno, I hate yeah. porn. Bruno, He's, I'm gonna have to take off as well. I'm yes. Sorry. It's yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm shutting. I gotta go too. I this. I've gone a lot longer than I should have. But I want to say thank you guys so much for being here. It was. I didn't realize these things were 45 minutes each video. What is that, Jess? There, it's it's wild. I I gave it to you so that you can watch them, not so that you could play the whole clip. Jeez, man! But... I didn't realize they were like that long. I thought they were like three minutes. You know, I was like, oh yeah, a few minutes. We'll talk about a few minutes. You know, boom, boom, boom. Next, you know, a couple know, hours. Right? Next, you know, we're like, holy shit. Uh, all right, Dennis. Thank you very much. I love you. You guys are awesome. Honestly, Dennis, you're amazing. Goose, you're amazing. Jess, you're amazing. Kiefer, eh, not so much. Uh, no, no, Kiefer is on. I love Kiefer. We always bust. Well, actually, while I have you guys here, uh, Goose and Dennis, you guys have ever played Goose Goose Duck? Among Us. <laughs> <laughs> really? Say it again, Goose. Like among us but different exactly it's just like among yeah. us but your geese instead of like aliens or whatever the fuck it is <laughs> so like it's a lot of fun it's basically so like it's, it's like so traders big brother but you like you run around it's fun man i'm telling you we play just plays all the time with us just tell them i'm it's down fun. to clown yeah put me in coach 
Okay. It's Goose, you're in. Dennis, you're in. You don't even know it yet, but you're in. We'll get you in. It's a yeah. fun little night. Bailey's going to join. I know Bailey wants to play. Jess, Johnny Max said he's in. McCray, Kiefer. We got a whole crew. We'll get everybody in. We'll play uh, one of these nights. I'll, I'll get you guys. Uh, we'll, we'll figure out a date, okay? You guys are in. You don't even know it yet, but you're in. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. Make sure to – yo, where do we should follow you guys? Go ahead. That's a sick – that's sick. There you go. The Dennis – There you go. There you go. The Dennis F, everyone. There you go. Check oh, him out, Goose. Dope. Where are you at? I'm uh, at Goose Elijah on Instagram and TikTok. And uh, Elijah the Goose is my Twitter, yeah. There you go. And Jessica. I should the Goose. Jessica Milagros on all my socials. And girl, let's agree to disagree. We'll probably be talking more about the cast tomorrow as well on the show. Because I'm going to be going live tomorrow. Yes. This I'm is going to take over my life. It sucks. And by the way, I just want to say that a tornado just hit like a block away from me. Like my daughter just called me and she's been in the basement of her friend's house. And my sister called me and she was in a basement and my alarm went off and I was like, oh, there's a storm. <laughs> so I think I just survived a tornado while I was with you guys. Thanks. Well, that's well commitment. See, wow. that's a warrior right there. <laughs> They're like, did, did the lights turn off? And there's everything's off by me, and I'm like, what happened? They're you know like, who wouldn't? Tornado. You know who there wouldn't do a, a podcast or a tornado? Zero. What's his name? Joseph. I'm Good night, committed. everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, <laughs> Goose, <laughs> Dennis. Thank you so much, Jess. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you for this. Thank you very much. Of course, you guys have been amazing. Thank Thanks you. Thank you. Thank you. Later. 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 Bye. Later. Bye.